Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and today we will have a little bit of education as usual. Uh, you know, uh, a Muslim actually, I spoke to him and his family and uh, you know, he watched my videos and uh, he said there is some something um, he need me to respond to. So I said, what is that? He said, how come, I mean, Christian could not refute Ahmad Didat. So he is here now, him and his wife. They are welcome. And he gave me a video of his choice uh, to listen to it and see if I can do something about it. <clears throat> you know, first of all, if you think that Didat nobody can refute him, you are very much mistaken. Actually, Didat is a very horrible debater when it's come to his religion. Because, you know, what, what happened that the that always he chose people who know nothing about Islam to debate him. So the debate will be one side. Uh, you know, you ask questions and uh, you, you know, you challenge. And then the other person, he have to respond. But nobody is really challenging the, the that about his religion. Uh, so, you know, he came in a time, you know, at that time I was really too young to be uh, a challenge in the, the that, even though I did since a very young age, because the first, actually, the first time I encounter something challenging, it was a videotape of the that, and he, it, it was played to me by someone, he invited me to his house, and he wanted me to convert to Islam, supposedly, by playing a videotape. And you remember those VCR, you know, those tapes, uh, you know, it was like, uh, there's no internet at that time. And then I got them busted right away from the tape, even though I wasn't just a kid. But today I will show you an example of how the dad is stupid. The dad is not really a debater. You see, the, you know, the problem is Muslims don't see that the dad, if he is exists today, or not, doesn't matter, because we have his recording. He brought a lot of, let us say, shame to Muhammad. And I will show you how. Here, this is uh, the video, uh, the person he asked me to, to, uh, to play. Now, the video is 30 minutes, and we don't want to play 30 minutes, but we will play what is important. What is important, supposedly, that Jesus in John 17, he said, it's finished. And this is the point of uh, the dead. Jesus did not go to the cross. Let us see. And here, the Christian is asking, actually, this Christian, he got the dead busted. And he is not debating Didat, actually. He's just one of the audience, I think. He's asking a question, and Didat, he, you know, he could not answer. So, Didat point is, Muhammad is great. And he is the greatest. But in what? Let us hear this Christian speaking to Didat, and see how Didat, he answer. My mind. Uh, I think we all admit that the Rolls Royce is the best car. Now, maybe some people, they will say it's a Mercedes. But yet, although the Rolls Royce is the best car, it cannot fly cannot fly. So I think our, the question must be, according to which then standard is Muhammad the greatest? What is the standard? Now you ask the question in your talk, what was the mission of Christ? Now the mission of Christ was clearly said in the, in the gospel, you read it in all the gospels at the beginning. The mission of Christ was that he is a lamb of God who takes away the sin of mankind. In other words, the whole mission and the purpose of Christ was to bring men into unity with God. Sorry, now, uh, can you put a question? Yes, now I'm, I'm actually... See here, they don't want the guy to, to, to answer him because he j j just want him to ask a question. This person is a smart person. They don't want a smart person to talk. Just give me the question. Don't give us an answer. Don't get us busted with our lies. Just give me the question. You know, answering his question. He brought the question. I would like to answer his question here. Yeah? And I'm coming finally to my question. And secondly, you quoted John 17, verse 1 and verse 4. And there it says, you know, Jesus did not say this particular passage. No, we must put these things right. He doesn't say it is finished there. He says, the time has come to glorify me, to glorify your son. Now, that was the beginning of this, uh, the crucifixion or the being uh, taken prisoner and then being crucified. And then we read in verse 4 what you quoted, those people have got eternal life who believe 
and know God and Jesus Christ his son. And then two chapters later only, when he was caught and so on, and when he was on the cross, he said the words, it is finished. In other words, he said, I have accomplished the task for which I have come. Now the question, who is the greatest? Christ came to give us life eternal. Muhammad came to do many things to deal with practical matters like you, how to use a toilet and other things. <laughs> but the great... <laughs> I like this guy. Muhammad, he came to teach us how to use the toilet. Well, Jesus is coming to save us. <laughs> and by the way, do you know how Muhammad used the toilet? Muhammad, he used to use the three rocks. And then even if he wash, if he ever, like after that, he stopped learning from the Jews to wash, he dry his hand in the floor and in the wall. So if you go to the bedroom of Muhammad, you will find Picasso drawing by the mark of his fingers after he do poo, poo So Muhammad, he taught us, you know, how to, Muhammad is the greatest, you know, he taught us how to do toilet. And uh, he taught us other things, like, you know, we, we showed you just yesterday. I was sitting once, and I was half in the shade and half in the sun. So my teacher told me that I shouldn't do that. When I asked for the reason, he said, because this is where shaitan sits. This is the accomplishment of Muhammad. He is the greatest man. So he taught us to use the three rocks to clean our bum. To shake our penis three times after you do pee, I don't know what will happen if you shake it four, maybe it's going to fall apart. And don't sit in half in the shade and half in the sun because why? Because shaitan, he sit there. So he is uh, asking me, can you elaborate? Yeah, I can easily elaborate. Yeah, easily he can elaborate. I mean, what are you talking about? This is very easy, you know, for Islam. This is very easy. <laughs> why you cannot sit as half in the sun, half in the shade? <laughs> I can explain to you. <laughs> it's very easy. This is what the Prophet told us, Alayhi See, this is the easy explanation, this is what the Prophet told us. I mean, this is the easiest ever explanation. <laughs> so, Muhammad is the greatest. <laughs> there are so many things, Yahya. Uh, Yahya, listen, Yahya. That we believe without understanding. Absolutely. Is that the case of Dida? Soon we will see that he is an idiot. Because this is part of our religion. Mm -hmm. Allah described us in the beginning of Surah Al-Baqarah that we believe in the unseen. Mm. So if I were to tell you that, Akhi, here is a mine gold. Mm. He said, wait, I, I can't see anything. Yeah, you like what, what Muhammad, he said that very soon, very soon, a mine gold, a mountain of gold will appear in the Euphrates River. Very, very soon. And now, 1400 years after, and, uh, uh, and uh, Erdogan is looking for the, the gold in the, the Euphrates. A false prophecy. <clears throat> Let us see the hadith. <clears throat> Here we go. Uh, there's a mountain of gold under the Euphrates River. Somebody call Erdogan and tell him why you cannot find it. And look, translation, sometimes they lie. They say, like, this is what happened in the future. No, it says, in the future, yes. But it says in Arabic, Liyushika, which means Yushik, which means it's almost will appear. Soon, even the translation says, soon the river of Euphrates will disclose the treasure between two bracket a mountain. And by the way, this is a false translation because you should not put the mountain between two bracket because this is what it says. Actually, you know, in the hadith here, uh, uh, yeah, he's right. In the hadith here, the mountain appear at the end. Okay, so he put it there just to make you understand. That's good. So the mountain, mountain of gold. So whoever will be present at that time should not take any of it. Why? Because everybody will be rich, supposedly. I mean, you see how rich we are getting. I mean, everybody getting rich, right? So uh, this is this is one of the prophecy of Muhammad that he before he dies soon, soon, soon. There is a mountain of gold will 
appear. And this is additional proof of false prophet and false prophecies. We go back to, uh, to, uh, uh, to here, and then we go back to the that. So Muhammad is the greatest prophet according to the that, and this is the accomplishment. You will not believe me, but when Allah tells us that there are angels around us, there are jinn around us, there mm. is heaven and hell with so many things in them, mm. there is torment in the grave, we say we believe. We believe. People say, I mean, the guy is dead and now he will be tortured in the grave. Believe in what? Are you crazy? Hmm. Can you see anything? No, but I can believe and relate because I believe in the Quran. I believe in Muhammad, alayhi salatu our messenger, and I believe in the existence of Allah. Okay. So anything else is by default. Hmm. Therefore, by default, when we wake up, we sniff water up our nostrils, nostrils three times and blow it out. Why? 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 The Prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Yeah, this is the accomplishment of Muhammad which make him the greatest prophet. Not to mention terrorism, ISIS, Al-Qaeda, suicide bombing. I mean, all of this, the accomplishment of the prophet. And not to, not to forget child molestation. Number one religion who practice child and, and pedophile is Islam because they are following the steps of their prophet who marry a girl. She is six years according to Islamic calendar, which means five years in our, according to our calendar. Remember, the Islamic calendar is shorter than our calendar. So the accomplishment of Muhammad that shaitan is deep in your nose. What else? Did you see that? No, no. but you believe it and do it. No, we believe Those it, yeah. who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. Hmm. Have you felt the urine? No, for sure, unless it's, unless it's cold, brother. If it's warm, you will not feel it. I mean, this is the stupidity of this religion. And they tried to tell us that Muhammad was a great man. But now we go back to the that. The greatest question is, I think, and the greatest purpose is, how, how do you and I get reconciled with God? How do I have eternal life? You haven't answered this question. You mentioned many things on a social, historical, political, military as expect but the standard of God and the question of God is how can I attain peace with God Jesus gave the perfect answer so Jesus is the greatest on this particular standard what yeah. is your answer to Could that? Could I have your book open as it is? Yes, I want to read that verse in your Bible that one you now look now you know the dad will get the secretion busted give me give me the book you have in your hand give me the book give me the book okay did that go ahead you say John Chapter 17, 3 and 4. Hmm. What does it say there? Thank you. Thank you. I'll find that. Could you, could you get your microphone? I'll bring it by with you. Oh. Now, this is eternal life. I read it. This is life eternal. Same thing. That they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. Word for word, choice of words, same meaning. I have brought you glory on earth by completing the work you gave me to do. Completing the work in the authorized King James Version, it says, I have finished. This is the new international version of mm -hmm. yours. Mm -hmm. The King James Version says, I have finished the work that you have given me to do. Now, do you take exception to that translation? Um, I think we must be very clear here. As you, you must see the... No, the word finished. Yes. The word I got um, is not from... This is the King James Version of the Bible, <laughs> which is the Bible used by pre predominantly the whole Christian world. Hmm. This new international version of yours is something novel to the bulk of mankind. No, no. To the bulk, I said, to the bulk no. of Christendom. No. Look, as against the King no. James Version. <laughs> stupid son of Muta. At the end of the day, both of them, they are translation, you donkey. I mean, what's wrong with those people? So, okay, I'm going to go and take Yusuf Ali translation. This is Yusuf Ali, the most the accepted denizen. What, what kind of logic this logic is? And by the way, that doesn't matter really for me if it says finish or complete, and I will show you why. But look how, this, how stupid this argument. This is Keynesian's version, okay? Okay, so Jesus, he spoke English. This is what he would say now. This is the Bible that is translated into other languages. You stupid, you just said translated into other languages. 
Guys, this is the Bible. Is it translated to other languages? Which means this is the original Bible. <laughs> And this is the guy you Muslims are proud about, but soon you will see we will love more. So here you see the stupidity. If we go to John, if it says finish or complete, it doesn't it doesn't change anything. Here we go. Who care if it says complete or finish? Because simply it is not going to make any difference. If you read the verse, you will see clearly Jesus said that I glorified you on the earth. I have finished the work which you have gave me to do. To do what? To glorify you. He's talking about the glorifying. And this is why in the verse after saying, And now, O Father, glorify through me. So you stupid, you Abdul. You want to say, Oh, Jesus, he did not need to go to the cross because he finished. That's it. He's already finished. He said, I finished. I complete glorifying you. And now, the next step, they will crucify him. And actually, if you read, as long as you are quoting for us this verse, you just get Muhammad busted, if you believe in this. That means Jesus is the son of the Father, and the Father is a glorifying Jesus. So, in order to be glorified by God, who are you? The son, he glorified the father. The, the father, he glorified the son. So I completed my glorify to you. But it's not done yet. The mission is not done because he continued talking. So here you see how silly this argument that this is the most translated book and this is all the Bible in the world translated from this book. That's it. You know, Abdul, we have the Bible in Aramaic. We have the Bible in Greek. We have the Bible in Hebrew. This is the original. The rest, all of it is translation. And you are stupid. But here, as long as we are talking about complete and finish, let us go to the stupid Quran. And we have a disaster in the Quran. If we read here John 17 and 18, you will see that Jesus, how he knew even that they would deliver him, how he knew that the soldiers are coming to arrest him, how he knew who was going to betray him, how he knew what even would happen, how he knew the time, how, he, how I mean, he gave them details nobody knows. So this is what you, you think you got, like, you know, supposed to, he says, I finished. But if we go in the Quran, we will find the following. Let us love. Shall we love? Remember, if Jesus says, I completed or finish, it's a problem for Muslims. Chapter 5, and this is not Jesus talking, and this is not Muhammad, this is your God. This is the biggest Abdul. Abdul number one. This is your God. After he said to you that it's forbidden for you to eat uh, this meat and that meat and pork. And then he jumped to say, and today I completed my favor upon you, completed your religion for you, and accepted Islam for you as a religion. Okay, I will go with the, that logic. If you say I completed, it means there's nothing more. That said, the mission is over. Correct? So how in the world Allah, he completed his work and completed Islam by chapter 5, verse number 5, verse number 3, sorry. Do you see it, Abdul? In this day, not only he is saying, I completed, he is giving you timing. In this day, Abdul, listen carefully. You know, you cannot listen. You have a, the, you know, the, the shaitan, he pisses in your ears. No wonder you have, you have a lot of wax. So in this day, your God, Allah saying, this is not supposed to be Muhammad, this is God. So he's not making a mistake. This day, I have perfected your religion for you. Okay. But this is a chapter five in the Quran. That's mean everything after that is a fabrication. 
because Islam is completed and the date is given is the date where there is verse revealed and Islam became perfect and I accepted or chosen for you according to translation in this day Islam as a religion so before that day Islam was not complete you see I'm going with the logic with the Abdul In John 17, Jesus, he said, he continues saying, I glorify you, glorify me now. It's your turn. I finished glorifying you. He did not say, I finished the cross and that's it. I mean, still, he's still between them. He's still in the earth. So, but here we have the biggest ever Abdul, Abdul number one. His name is Allah, Aka Muhammad. Claiming that, the Quran is finished and completed after a few pages. And Islam is perfected after a few pages. Now what the Muslim will say to you, oh no, uh, hold on, hold on. We Muslims, we play with our Quran. Chapter 5 in reality is not a chapter 5. Like what the heck? It is not? Yes, brother, Christian Prince, are you ignorant? The chapter 5 is not a chapter 5. <laughs> so who is the one who changed his book? Us or you? You know, when you play with the Abdul, when they say chapter 5, they mean different number. When you speak to the Christian, they say John 16, it is John 16. It's not John 16 was, was 4 and became 16. Are you following with me? Let us go to the Islamic website to show you the Quran according to Revelation. Because the Muslims, they preserve their Quran and they have Quran according to Revelation and according to non-Revelation. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay. <clears throat> So now, according to Revelation, brother, oh, hold on, where we go? Go back to the to the page. According to Revelation, brother, we will find that according to Revelation, chapter five is chapter number one in the Revelation. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, stupidity is amazing, brother. Seriously, what do you think? Huh? Okay. Now, let us continue here. So, let us look for Al-Ma'idah, which is the chapter we are talking about. Shall we? Let us go down. Let us go. 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 <laughs> It turned to me that the chapter five is a chapter one twelve. <laughs> Let me close the window, otherwise people will think I'm going crazy. They will see, so, you know, a guy sitting in his room, and uh, you know he's laughing like you know like like a uh, like a Abdul. But even here we have a problem because. If a chapter of Al-Ma'idah is 112 and the Muslim they replace it with number 5, then who is the one who wrote 113 and 114? Islam is completed. Stupidity is amazing. Same time, if we go that the last chapter Allah he gave Muhammad is number 5, which is 112. So, who wrote the verses in the same chapter after? Because, listen, if this is a chapter given at the end, because it doesn't make sense to be in the beginning, as long as Allah says, This day I have perfected my religion for you, completed your religion for you, or completed my favor upon you, 
Then who wrote verse number four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? Uh, guys, come tomorrow. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I will, I will make it easy. Uh, 20, 21, 24, 40, whatever. So now we discovered that all the verses, whatever chapters came after, is a fabrication. So did that is stuck with the word the finish. Just to show you a little bit of stupid things that he did before he died, which is we are very thankful for. Did that he had a video speaking about errors in the Bible, brother? Like what? <laughs> There's error in the Bible. <clears throat> Did that tell us some about the errors in the Bible? Go ahead. At the same time, speak the Lord to Isaiah. God spoke to Isaiah, the son of Amos, saying, Go and loose the sackcloth from thy loins. You know the sackcloth that you're tying? Untie that. And put thy, off thy shoes from thy foot. And he did so, walking naked and barefoot. A prophet. People, listen to the dad. God said to Isaiah, you know, release your sack and take off your shoe and uh, walk naked. This is your Bible, Christians? Did that tell us what do you think? Put thy, off thy shoes from thy foot. And he did so, walking naked and barefoot. A prophet of God, for three years, he's walking up and down the streets of Jerusalem or wherever he was. Man, he was in Jerusalem. And he was naked for three years. Abdul, son of Muta, you just read and say, take, take off your sack. The, the, the Jewish rabbi and the prophet, they have a special clothes they wear to show that they are a custom, a uniform. Stupid idiot, son of Muta. It says even you did just read it. Listen again to show you how stupid this guy is. They have no dignity. They have no honesty. Say it again. Speak the Lord to Isaiah. God spoke to Isaiah, the son of Amos, saying, Go and lose the sackcloth from thy loins. See? So those are clothes. It's like, you know, you know, like, let us say in the old days, uh, when you are a knight, you have a, a coat you wear. When you are like the Arab today, they use abaya, like the man, he put abaya. Uh, so, uh, uh, and even the abaya present like uh, your social status. As an example, those who they are very rich, the, the end line is made of uh, fabric from gold. So, this is not about going naked, and this is not about Jerusalem. You stupid idiot, but as long going naked is a shame. And he is making fun, saying, this is in your gospel, a prophet of God. A prophet of God going naked. You know the sackcloth that you're tying? Untie that. And put thy, off thy shoes from thy foot. And he did so, walking naked and barefoot. A prophet of God, for three years, he's walking up and down the streets of Jerusalem or wherever he was, absolutely naked, not even a G-string. Not even a G-string. Now let us get him busted, and now every Muslim will spit at your grave because you just humiliated your prophet. Let us go. You see, imagine if I am the one who's debating Ahmad that when he was saying that. Imagine. <laughs> G-string, you son of Muta. Filthy. Coward. G-string. We will go down to the G-string in a second. Obviously, you are expert with the G-string. Old man. This is your prophet. And this is authentic that Allah he made Moses walk naked in Jerusalem. And there is no G string at all. And the story, by the way, is true story. And as you see, this is all is Sahih. The Muslim, they cannot say this is not true. This is Al-Bukhari as an example. Let us read together. 
Now excuse my English if you don't like it because my English is not good as you know. Uh, what happened? I am Zul Kornain. When I converted to Islam, my people hit me in my head in the hammer and I got the first horn. Then Allah, he resurrected me and then I came back to my people and I told them to convert to Islam and then they hit me with the second hammer again and I got the second horn. And this is why I was called the, the person with the two horn. Logic, science. Now, Allah Messenger said, Prophet Moses was a shy person and he used to cover his body completely because of his extensive shyness. One of the children of Israel hurt him by saying, he covered his body. <laughs> he covered it. <laughs> because, why? Only because he have some defect in his skin. Either he have leprosy, 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 or, uh, uh, sorry, this word, I don't know how to say it. A squirrel, squirrel, uh, her, 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 hernia, hernia. Hernia, hernia. So the story is very simple. A Jewish guy, his name is Jack Shalom. He saw Musa, he don't take shower with the rest. He started thinking, Habibi. Musa, Habibi, Moshe, he don't take shower with us. So why Moshe is not taking shower with us? Uh -huh. Moshe, he must have a problem in his private part. And mostly his private part, he have one eye only. Because usually you should have two eyes. And now Allah, he heard this Jew is speaking about his prophet. So Allah will, will prove that he have no defect. So listen what happened. So he has some other defect. Allah wished to clear Moses. Eh? Allah wished. Okay, your wish is granted. Let us see what Allah will do. Of what they said about him. So one day, while Moses was in seclusion, look as usual, the guy, he cannot take a shower with people. Unbelievable. And then he took off his clothes and put them on the stone and started taking a bath. When he finished the bath, he moved toward the, uh, the his clothes. So to take them, you know, so he would wear the, the, the clothes. Okay, what happened next? As to take them, but the stone took his clothes, brother, and he fled. And Moses picked up his stick and ran after. Look at Moses, you know. This guy, Moses, he cannot walk anywhere without his stick. I mean, come on. I mean, the stone took his clothes, and now it is time to pick his stick. It's like, you know, taking your iPhone with you. You know, like, come on, he can't move without it. You know, Harry Potter. So he took his stick and he started. The chasing the stone. Okay, so he pick up the stick and run after the stone, saying, "Oh stone, give me my garment." By the way, here you notice that stone, like Moses, is not surprised that the stone is running. Did you notice that? It looked like at that time stones used to run and take clothes. It's very like very normal, like you see it every day in the news. Like imagine yourself, you are taking a taking a bath in a river or whatever, and then a stone take your clothes and carry them and run with them. Moses, he was not like saying like, what the heck? Like he was not even surprised for a second. No, he's talking to the stone. He says, stone, stop, stop. Give me back my garment, oh stone. Like, and the stone, you know what? The stone, she is not, she, she will not listen. She hear him, by the way, brother. Until he reached the group of Bani Israel. And they saw him naked, and there's no G string on him, son of Mutadidat. So, do you see how did that he brought shame to Muhammad? If this is a shameful thing, as he said, and we heard him, well, this is in your religion, not in our book. In our book, it doesn't say that he is naked, naked. It says naked as a messenger, as a prophet, as a rabbi. He did not take his uniform. He release your sack. Take off your bare shoes, your shoes. And he was in the desert. He was living alone. He did not live in Jerusalem. There's nobody around him. Here, your God, he did lead Moses in purpose until he reached downtown. So all the people there, they will see. And they found him the best of Allah had created. Here I have to stop. Obviously, the penis of a prophet Moses was so good to be true. Like it says perfect. Not only perfect, it says the best. 
Do you see Abdul? We are talking about his penis. The people of Israel, they found that the penis of Moses is the best that Allah had created. And here I am really offended because are you saying that the penis of Moses is better than the penis of Muhammad? What are you talking about? This is a mistake here. You cannot say that. So the guy who walked naked and there's no joy. Let us go back to the G string, the expert. I mean, you're surprised to see a person in this age. He is not in the age of the internet and he's talking about G string. Obviously, he is not interested with G string. Obviously. And look how he put he, he point his finger at his down his panty. Look, 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 look at this son of Muta. Look. You just brought shame to your prophet because if this is a shameful thing, this is in your religion. If this is a shame for, for, your, for God, well, your God, Allah, is the one who made the stone run so everybody can see Moses totally naked. Remember, Moses was taking a shower. And the, the point is to prove that his private part have no, no problem. So it's not just like he, like he maybe run with a short, maybe. No, they have to see his penis. Tell us more about the, 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 horrible, the horrible thing. Uh, Saying, go and lose the sackcloth from thy loins. You know the sackcloth that you're tying? Untie that. And put the, off thy shoes from thy foot. And he did so, walking naked and barefoot. A prophet of God, for three years, he's walking up and down the streets of Jerusalem or wherever he was, absolutely <laughs> naked, not even a G-string. <laughs> Can you imagine God giving such instructions to his prophet? See? He's a do you think that God will do such an instruction to his prophet? Do you think God will do that? Hey Muslim, do you think God will do that? So Didat is saying, there is no way God will do that. So Didat, he admitted that his God Allah and his prophet is a fraud because there's no true God will do such a thing. Did he say what, did you, did you hear him? There's no true God will do that. And put the, off thy shoes from thy foot. And he did so, walking naked and barefoot. A prophet of God, for three years, he's walking up and down the streets of Jerusalem or wherever he was, absolutely naked, not even a G-string. Can you imagine God giving such instructions to his prophet? Can you imagine God did such an instruction? Muslims, can you imagine? Who is a Muslim when I agree with this imagine? Do you imagine God would do that? So all those Muslim Abdul, they are watching the that nobody noticed that this is proof that Muhammad is a false prophet. This is why this dummy, he will never, he debated only once an Arabic Christian and he didn't, he, he ran away from the second debate, debate, the schedule second debate, the guy he came, the Christian came wait in the stage and the dad, the coward, the son of Muta, he ran away. Now, the son of Muta, he just brought him humiliation for his prophet. Now, how many of you are going to copy the video and share it? And by the way, you can make them very short, like they said about this topic, about Isaiah being naked. You can make the video two minutes if you want. But what I showed you, but what he said together, let everybody laugh. So, obviously, those who try to debate us about the Bible, they do not know our Bible, neither they knew their own religion. Because if they that he knew this story, he will never mention it as to be a horrible story. Trust me. He will never mention this. So I assure you this donkey, he did not know what his prophet said. If we continue in his videos about uh, about the funny Bible, we, we will we will die laughing more because all the errors he will mention to you. Is in his book. <laughs> Look at this. He is quoting for you from the Old Testament. 
that there's a prophecies about the people who they are because they are disobeying God. They will use even dunk to cook in it. Listen carefully. Behold, I will corrupt your seed and spread dung upon your faces. You know what's dung? You know what's dung? You know what dung? Yeah, I know what dung. Isn't it your prophet who ordered you to drink the camel urine? Isn't it your Muslim who fought over the piss of your prophet? Isn't it your Muslim who fought over the dunk of the camel of Aisha because it's a holy dunk? Here, this is a prophecy that you will be humiliated. This is not God ordering to eat dunk, you stupid idiot. Do you know what is dunk? Okay, hold on. I just figured out what dunk is. Is that something coming from the private part? Correct me if I'm wrong. Because as I know, you're a prophet he used to take shower with dunk. And the proof in front of you. And this is Sahih Hadith. Sahih. Where you're a prophet, he take his shower with dunk. Because whatever come from the private part is dunk. And actually, here in this case, is not even dunk. It's way more than dunk. It's women blood from period. And dead dogs. And garbage. So the verse you are quoting for us is about people will be humiliated. Here, Muhammad humiliating himself for what? Because he's mentally ill, because he's very filthy. To the point, even people, they ask him, why you are you doing that? <laughs> you see, if it was normal, nobody would ask him, why, you know, like, why are you doing that? Look, look, look at this hadith here. It was narrated by Ibn al Khudari. I passed by the Prophet of Allah when he was performing wudu from the will of Bida'ah. I said, are you? Like, hey, Abdul, are you? <laughs> are you? So you say, come to Are you performing wash from the from from a water when the garbage is thrown in it? Do you know what dunk is? You see, if the water is not filthy, the guy will not even ask. Even the hadith says that the water color is changed, is disgusting. Do you see it here? It says that this water in this little container, jacuzzi, sewage, I saw the color of the water in the swell had changed. And this is what happened to stinky water. So, do you think that would look good if I was in the stage there? And this is why all the Muslims, by the way, they want to debate me face to face. Face to face. All of them, they are willing to fly to anywhere. Tell Christian Prince, I'm willing to fly to America. Okay, and there's a guy, actually, you remember him? The guy from Korea, he was challenging. He's not a Korean, he's an Egyptian, living in Korea. You know, uh, he, he challenged the Christians. I said, okay, I challenge you. He challenged David Wood, you know. Uh, he said, uh, David Wood and even Christian Prince. Like, even. I said, okay, let us debate. He said, uh, uh, oh, come to Korea. I said, I'll go nowhere. He said, okay, uh, I, I, uh, I will go to America. I said, okay, come to America. He said, but they don't give me a visa. <laughs> Mata boy. So, who is the one who take a shower in dunk and eat dunk? It is you. Drinking camel urine is dunk. Dunk have two, like let us say, ways. Either it is liquid or it is solid. And both are the same. What was liquid, it used to be solid. And now your body will filter 
the solid and send it in one direction and filter the other one the watery one and send it in another direction but all is the same so when a prophet of God he ordered you to drink camel urine did he order you to drink dunk yes he did when your prophet he jump with ministration rags water and dead dogs in that water and garbage and even it says a stink you, you know the funny even it says a stink even the Muslim translation says it is a stink and Muhammad he claimed that uh, uh, water is always pure do you remember the guy his name is Sabir Ahmed brother sister you know the prophet you know if prophet he taught us how to do fight corona as an example prophet he said if you sneeze cover your mouth he will not tell you that he said cover your mouth because if you don't cover your mouth shaitan will jump inside your mouth and he will pee inside it hey, brother and sister i can debate christian prince honestly i can debate him but this is not me who called him before sure you don't call me coward you potato you you because i will make you homeless in two seconds This is your deed that making fun of your religion because if all of this is ugly it is your prophet who did it in the in the verse he is reading this is a promise of god that because you are not following me those people they are going to be suffering badly to the point they are even going to cook over dunk and by the way number one people in the world who cook over dunk are muslims Until now, most of Bangladesh, until now, most of the country of Bangladesh, and you don't blame them because they are poor, they use, excuse my language, shit, literally, to cook in it. Is that your Bangladesh? Is that the Pupu? Is that a Muslim woman? She is drying the poo, poo Are they cooking in the poo, poo Do you see how they are dishonest? They have zero honesty. Bangladeshi women, two dot, food is cooked over open fire using wood, agriculture, residue, residue, and animal dunk. This is what the Bible is saying. And if Bangladesh is doing it, I mean, Bangladesh is, I think, second population of Muslims in the world, if not number one, I'm not sure. Stupid is amazing. So it's just to make you know to make a false argument, stupid argument. This is how silly this guy is. Until not long time ago, even your prophet he used it to to for 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 shit for eating. Because they don't have wood, they don't have oil. The oil is something new. Like now in Saudi Arabia they have oil, but before they don't. Saudi Arabia don't have wood, don't have jungles, they cook in what? Dunk. And this is not only in Saudi Arabia, by the way. All those areas, because they have, a, you know, they, 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 they suffer from fuel, they don't have a fuel. So they use dry grass, mix it with, with the dunk of the animals, and they cook in it. But they are not eating the dunk. Is those Muslims are eating the dunk? No. So it's a shameful, stupid, silly argument of a person he have no shame. But you know, those arguments can work if you are speaking in front of a bunch of ignorant people. When you are ignorant, anyone can fool you. Do we agree? Even a donkey can fool you because you are ignorant.
Uh, do we have any Abdul? He have anything to say? Let us see here. Then I also will walk contrary to you in fury, and I even I will chastise you seven times for your sins. Allah tells us in the Quran. This is what he says. Allah la yazlimu misqala zarra. Allah will not do the least bit of injustice to you. He says. Oh, so if he punish him seven times for his sin, this is injustice. Well, this is the punishment. I can say I send you 100 years in jail or one, one year in jail. This is injustice. Let us go to your Quran, stupid son of Muta. Because obviously this guy, he never read his Quran. Do we have any Muslims that are listening? <clears throat> Or well, let us go first to the hadith. Allah don't do injustice. You don't. He is upset that God he will punish you seven times for your sin. But he is not upset that his God will take all the sin of the Muslims, even if it's like mountains, and place it on the Christians. And he just quote for us a verse from the Quran saying, Allah will not judge any unjust judgment. Not even if it's a small, like an ant. Is that justice? That you commit sin, I pay for the sin? Do you see the stupidity? Is it justice that Muslims they commit sin and then Muhammad he asked Allah to let the sin of the Muslims go to the Christians? Is it justice to Allah to insert a chain in the size of all the iron in your anus? It is justice that Allah will allow shaitan to play with your anus because you forgot to say certain words before you enter the bathroom? Is it justice that Allah, he waited 600 years, years after Jesus to tell us that shaitan he played with the anus? So all those years nobody knows about it? Why he did not tell Adam about this? Hey Adam, if you don't say this word, shaitan will play with your anus. Tell, tell, your, tell your children's. Is it justice to tell me after thousands of years that if I don't say certain words, shaitan, he'll go around my penis and he will be doing my wife with me? Because I did not say that word? Is it justice that the Quran kill a child, he commit no sin? Because Allah, he predicted that in the future he will commit a sin? When a Muslim, he speak about justice, not only we laugh, we make them cry. Is it justice your prophet, he rape women, children? Is it justice to take a, a girl, she is playing with her toys and her Barbies, to sleep with her, to rape her? Is that justice? Is it justice that if I kill your wife, you kill my wife? Is it justice if a white kill a white man, the white man will be killed, but if he kill a black man, a black man, a slave man will be killed? You see, I'm just getting things from my head. Otherwise, we can make a, we can speak until tomorrow about the injustice in the stupid religion of Islam. Is it justice that the price of a Christian 
person is half of the price of a, a cow in case he killed? Is it just as that a Muslim, if he kill a Christian, a murderer, he will not be killed? This is your false prophet. He heard that Musa's teach that eye for an eye. So the stupid Muhammad, he got eye for an eye. That's eye for an eye mean my wife or your wife. <laughs> you kill my slave, I kill yours. <laughs> <laughs> my friends stupidity is amazing and by the way Muhammad after he said this verse few days after he cancelled it do you know can you believe it additional proof that Muhammad is a fraud I mean God he just sent you this guy like Joe Biden man I mean, he just said something. He like he don't want to forget about it. Forget about it. What the, what's wrong? What do you mean? It says in the case of murder. I mean, you see, in the case of murder, it's not the same as the case of economy. Economy change, correct? Murder, murder is a murder, and Allah is making an order of justice supposedly. Okay, in the case of murder, what we will do? In the case of murder, brother Nathar, free for free. I just want let me cause I can I'm using a very high speed internet because Joe Biden now he is going to make our speed the top. See how fast the ringing? And now Zach and I will answer with the high speed. I don't know what to call me. And I'm telling you, I'm not going to answer you. You have to tell me. Chapter 2, verse number 78. It says that woman for woman, man for the man, slave for the slave. Explain to us. Furthermore, I'm not going to answer you because if I explain to you, you will never turn. Zach and I, you have to understand me. And please, we need your answer because you are the only one who can answer us. I don't understand why you're thinking of that. Uh, because we are using very fast internet. So Biden, you know the thing, he promised us fast internet and so we will have it. Okay, good friends, I can't speak like this because I can't breathe. I don't care if you breathe or not. You have to give me the answer. Slave for slave, free for free, women for the women. And now, question for the answer. Give me the answer. Good friends, first of all, my answer is me. I give me the answer and call you back. You don't, don't call me back. You cannot call me back because we will lose the internet because as long as Joe Biden internet is not going to work, he will sleep and he will turn off the modem. So give me an answer right now before we lose. Hello? Hello? We, lo we lost. We, we lo I think Joe Biden, he stepped and he stepped over the modem. Sorry. I mean, if Joe Biden can be a president, why Muhammad can't be a prophet? You tell me. This is God. And then God, after a few days, he find that this is stupid. He, 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 they say to you, this is abrogated. This is a clear evidence that Muhammad is a fraud. I mean, this is a murder. A case of murder should work for that thousands of years to come, th millions of years to come. Unbelievable. By the way, one of you asked me, said, Christian Prince, do you write those things before, like when you say, I said, no, I don't write it. I just make it up. Come on, hello. Do you write it down? Do you, you, <laughs> write it down. <laughs> do you write it down. So this is your stupid prophet. And if we go to the interpretation, you will see that it, you know, if a, if a man is a free, a, a slave man will not be killed. If he killed a slave man, his slave will be killed. So now we have two innocent people dying just because they're black. This is your stupid, dummy, racist cult. Did you understand what Zakir Naik was saying? Because the conversation was very fast, brother. Did you understand the conversation? <clears throat> what I can say? Tell us more, uh, 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 Ahmad Didat. Uh, tell us more, please. The prophet, he says, Jeremiah. Jeremiah, the book of Jeremiah, chapter 20, verse 7, he says, O oh Lord, O oh Lord, you deceived me, and I was deceived. God, you deceived me, and I was deceived. You are stronger than I, and have prevailed. What can I do? I'm helpless. 
If you want to deceive me, how can I resist deception? You are stronger than I and have prevailed. I am in derision daily. Everyone mocks me. Oh Lord, you deceive me. You are a deceiver. God is a deceiver. Allah tells you in the Quran that he guides, he does not misguide. <laughs> First of all, you idiot, son of Muta. This is the guy saying, not God saying to him, I deceive you. He meant that, okay, I was a stupid. I thought I'm smart. I thought you gave me the wisdom. It turned to be, I don't have it. Don't make things up. And God of Islam, he says, he, he, he guides, he don't misguide. Let's go to the Quran. Everybody would die laughing at you. My book is name is The Deception of Allah. Go read it. <laughs> Actually, Allah, he said to Muhammad, are you going to guide the one who I lie to? <laughs> and you know the funny, he says, Allah, he guide, he don't misguide. Brother, he don't. This is the guy saying in there, in the, in the verse, it's him saying to God, he feel like a fool. Okay, I'm deceived. You know, I thought I am. I am someone. I thought I'm something. It turned to be I'm not. He spoke to me as a prophet, so I thought I am right. It doesn't say that God is the the the, the, the liar, that this that the, the Satan. This is him talking, and then you go and see what God he said to him. But here you will see Allah saying. Are you going to guide whom Allah misguide? And look at the first translation. Would you guide those who Allah throw out, thrown out away? What do you mean thrown out? Where it says thrown out away? It says, what is the word misguide or deceive? Adallah. Woman yudlil Allah, felan tajid lahu sabila. And the one who Allah deceive, nobody can guide him. Change the translator. Should we go to King James only? Is he that? <laughs> is Yusuf Ali is the only translation you accept it? <laughs> uh, stupidity. Look, we change the translator. Read carefully. Hmm. Okay, brother. Uh, do you want to guide him who Allah made go astray? This is supposed to be nicer now. Do you see it? Who is the one who misguide and deceive Allah? And not only that, this verse saying that the one who Allah misguide, nobody can guide. And by the way, Muhammad, he made this verse proving to us again that he is a false prophet because he said that to those people who later, they became Muslims. He said, you cannot guide the one who Allah misguide and later they became Muslims. Ah, they became Muslim because of the sword, <laughs> not because of guidance. So do you see the hypocrisy and the lies and the stupidity? Is that the best you have? Did do? Did do do do? Oh man, too bad you died. I can't grab you from your tear, but I can grab you from your recording. Okay, is this the end of the video? Huh. Okay. I want to I want to see where he spoke about uh, that God created the earth and the heaven. Sorry, created the sun in the fourth day. I don't know where it says that because that would be funny. Oh, here we go. Hold on. Uh, no, this is a different one. Let us see. Uh, yeah, I look like I need to look for the other one. Anyway, if somebody can ha have the video where he said, I made a video about it before, you can remember. And he made fun of the Bible saying that God, he, cre he created the sun uh, in, in Wednesday or in the fourth day. And he said, so the earth was without light for four days? For four days? Uh, no, uh, they are Abdul, stupid. It says that the first God thing God created, he says, let me light and light was. So there's light already. However, Abdul, let me see if I can find the video. So we can laugh.
Let us see. Uh, <clears throat> I'm trying to find the video so we can laugh more, just for a comedy, you know. Let us see. Okay. Okay, I think we have we have a video of mine, so we can find what he said there. Let us see. Okay, hold on. Let's see here. I'm just looking for the video guys, just give me a second. All right. Maybe this one here. Okay, hold on. Uh, maybe this is the same video. Uh, okay, okay. Okay, shake a hand. Let me see. Yeah, it says something wrong. Uh, the link could not open. When you click at the link, they try to get it from sharing. When I click in it, it did not work. Try to get it from sharing. <clears throat> Try again, Sheikh Ahmad. So maybe we can make it work. Always, if you want to share a link, click at sharing uh, and get copy the link there from there. Not don't copy from the title in the in the top from the browser. Still, we are waiting for the the link to be posted again. Maybe we can make it work. Okay, let's try now. Yeah, it's for some reason it says uh, something wrong, connection wrong, whatever. Wrong, let's see. Let us try it now here. Yeah, I can't, I can't make it work. The link you are posting is not working, Sheikh Ahmed. I don't know if you hear me. Maybe it's taking time. Anyway, when they have it ready, we will. Uh, yeah, there's many links for a Christian Prince exposing the that. We want the one where it is. Uh, even the link you posted is not working. I don't know why, Lisa. Nothing is working for me. Yeah, nothing. Those link is not working. Don't repost again the same thing. You have to go click at sharing, click at sharing, and copy the link from there. Don't copy from the browser. 
It's not working, Lisa. Yeah. Anyway, they are posting the link. If it's working for you, you will go there and you will see this idiot. He was making fun of the Bible speaking about how the sun is created and how God he created things in the like the sun, the light or the sun in the fourth day. But if we go to the Quran, we will find that he, the, the, the stupid did that. He did not know, obviously, that his Quran saying that the last thing Allah he created was the sun in one chapter. In the other chapter, no. This is how easy to destroy this person, uh, uh, you know, in, in a debate. But what those, those people, they do, they debate only people who do not know anything about Islam. Because all those things he just said, it is a, it's a golden opportunity to laugh at Muhammad. Because after he said them, after he say, how God he created the, the sun at the, you know, at the fourth day. And then we find in the Quran, it says that the last thing Allah created was the stars. Maybe if you can give me the title, uh, Sheikh Ahmad, of the video you are trying to post, so I can find it and look for it as a title, so people they can add it to their recording when they make the video. Let us see. I say this, it's hard to find which one. When you search Christian Prince exposing Ahmad Didat, you will find like a million video. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Okay. So which one? Sheikh Ahmad was talking about Allah knows best. Give me the title, Sheikh Ahmad. Give me the title. Okay, give me the title. Send, send me the link in, uh, in, in Patreon. Send me the link in Patreon. All right, so we can play it because there's a million videos of me exposing Ahmadi that so how we will know which one I don't know this one is different one here Hmm. Hey, by the way, did that was Muhammad a, a girl or a boy? Because he dressed like a woman, he put eyeliner, and he pissed like a woman. I'm just trying to find the video. I don't know. This is a different one. Is the word whore? <laughs> <laughs> is the word whore is boys or or girls? <laughs> I mean, I just
just found a video of mine. I don't know. All right, let's see. We go to Patreon and we will play it from here. Patreon. Stupid. The, the word whore? The word, brother, the word whore is not boy, is not girl. It's, it's a parallel word. <laughs> Uh, okay, let us see. Okay, let's try here. You said in which minute? Let me go back. Strange, I ask 1000 times what is the title of the video, and nobody gave it to me. Okay, the hold on, Let's try now. Okay, now we know which one. All right, we found the video. Okay, minute three, minute three, uh, three, 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 three. All right, here we go. Okay, look like we found the video. Watch Muslims and see how did that he exposed your false prophet. Your prophet obviously is a fraud, and did that is my witness. Uh, the microphone was off. But this is you said minute number three minute three this is minute three this is the sorry there is not there you said three but this is not about the heaven about the sun created in the uh, i don't think people are listening to me okay let us hold on let us see yeah this is not We look like we could not find it, I don't know, because this is not minute number three for sure. Yeah. And Ahmed was giving me. It's not minute number three. Forward, forward. It was already give me three if it's not three. Hmm. No, this is not. You're wrong. Anyway, uh, we have from the Quran the proof. You know, sometimes like you want to find something simple, but it takes forever. Because I don't really prepare for those things. You know, we just go live and, you know. So later, if you want to make a video yourself, uh, you can add that part where did that he said, or, you know, what kind of God, <laughs> how God, he created <laughs> the light <laughs> in the fourth day, so the earth was out without sun for four days. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but in his Quran, the stupid idiot, it says that the last thing, in, which means this is the seventh day or the sixth day, Allah created the stars. Not only that, actually, 
Even Muhammad in the hadith, he gave us exactly which day Allah he created the sun. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, admins, don't post too much Patreon because people don't really donate. I mean, you are wasting your time posting in Patreon. You know, people here, they come just to love. Nobody really care to support us. So don't waste your time posting in Patreon. Uh, so if you make a video yourself later, those who make videos, you will find that Muhammad, he said it clearly, that Allah, he created the sun in Wednesday. Which means not only he told us it's when he created later, he gave us even the day. Do you see it? So if we put what the, that he said, making fun of the Bible, speaking about God creating the sun, few days later, later, then he is making fun of his prophet. As simple as that. This is why those videos are very important. And this is showing you why it's so important what we do. The that will never stand a minute debating me because people will start laughing at him. He just made fun of creating the light in Wednesday. And if we make fun of creating light in Wednesday, that's mean whoever believed that Wednesday is where the sun is created is a stupid. So how Muslim can defend the that making fun of their prophet? Right? Because either this is a stupid or it's not. Very simple. So who of you is proud with the that making fun of your prophet? Everything he said is against your prophet. Walking naked, your prophet, Allah, prophet of Allah, he said that Allah, he made Moses walk naked. And he made it make him walk naked between people in purpose so everybody can see him naked. Cooking and dunk, your prophet, he made you eat dunk. Even you fight over his piss. And you drink camel urine. And he jump in water, have dead dogs and women blood from period. So everything the, that he's tried to prove, actually it's against Islam, not against us. Do we have any Muslim have an oppos opposition? Anyone? Who is a Muslim agree with the that, that it is stupid to say that the sun is created in Wednesday? Who is a Muslim here agree with the that? Suddenly now all the Muslims are washing their hands from the that. The that is, is, is not presenting Islam no more. The that is not a sheikh. The that he do not know what he is talking about. But the that was a hero yesterday. Do you see how easy to defeat those potatoes? But this is what happened when they target, they target audience who do not know anything about Islam. Did that he come to the West in a time where none of those Western know what really anything about Islam? They don't even have any idea. Actually, until now we suffer. Even those who claim that they are teaching about against Islam, they do not know what they are talking about. We say to them, don't say that the word Allah Akbar means God is great. They go and say, Allah Akbar means God is great. Where do you get this from? We say to them, don't say Islam means submission, Islam means surrender. They go and say Islam means submission.
We say to them that Islam is not Abrahamic. They go to churches and they teach that Islam, you know, they follow Abraham. So the problem is not only that Muslims try to deceive you, even Christians, because of their ignorance, they are deceiving you too. Anyone have the fun of the video or did that making fun of the Bible about the sun created on Wednesday yet? I guess nobody. Maybe I will make a video about it alone. We will add it to the rest. Do we have any Muhammadan? Who is a Muhammadan agree with the video of Didat? So now you are ashamed of it. We don't want to talk about it no more. We don't want to believe in it. This is how easy to defeat Islam. Do we have any Abdul have an objection for what we said? Do we have any Abdul is proud about Didat? Because now I'm proud about him too. He just said clearly that Muhammad is a fraud. Very simple. Everything that he said in his debates is against Islam. Even when he tried to say that Jesus wasn't the cross, it's against Islam because the Quran said that the Christian they saw Jesus in the cross. Very simple. And as long as the Christian they saw Jesus on the cross, that's mean they are telling the truth. Because who wanna believe that this is not Jesus? If the the followers of Jesus, even his mother, she could not recognize that this is not him. Not a single Jew noticed that this is not him. Once a smart Muslim, he's a smart, he's a genius. He made a video says, do you know that there is two Jesus was on the cross? This is a smart Muslim. When a smart Muslim, he, he think he scratch his ass, he don't scratch his head. If we go with you, that's mean the Quran is a book of lies. Because if there is two Jesus in the cross, then how the Quran says that the Jews, they say, we killed the Messiah, Isa, the son of Maryam, the messenger of Allah. Is the other guy is a son of Mary? And he is the messenger of Allah. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> so, even your stupid Quran says it clearly that the Jew didn't say we killed someone, his name is Jesus. And by the way, your God, he chose a name of Isa. There's two Isa there. <laughs> Additional to that, there's two guys, their name is Isa, and both of them, they are the son of Maryam. Additional to that, both of them, they are the son of Maryam, and both of them, they are prophet of Allah. <laughs> and remember, the that he made the point that Allah is not a deceiver. Well, isn't it you must then believe that Allah, he plays someone instead of Jesus? This is the biggest deception in the, in the world. Three billion human beings now, they believe that Jesus was crucified because of the lie of Allah, if this is true. And he was making a point that Allah is not a deceiver. <laughs> a prophet, he said to God, you deceive me. This is what he said. Any Abdul? No, Abdul. All right, I'm not going to keep you long. So people, and by the way, the, uh, my videos are long, but you can shorten them. So people, they can get the point fast and easy. You know, you can make the video. Like, let us say, the main point is, 
did that he said let us say did that he made he, he said that this prophet he woke naked what kind of God he ordered his prophet make naked and then show me showing the hadith about Allah making a rock stealing the cloth of Moses so he can go naked and people will see his penis you do not need to put all the videos you know just make it short that people laugh and then everybody will see the size of Didad he's so tiny he's so tiny like he's a prophet Once, you know, like the prophet was going to pee and he was like wasting too much time, you know, and they said, prophet, we need to go. They didn't know that the prophet was looking for his tiny whiny. Have you ever heard of a prophet? He pissed in the street. Have you ever heard of a prophet? He pee sitting. A prophet, he pee on the wall. Muhammad is the greatest prophet. Let us read this hadith together. First, we're going to find it in English. Hmm. Let us read this one in love. Prophet who piss in the road, and women and children are passing by. Which one is more ugly? He come upon the prophet when he was passing water. Is that in his bedroom? No. Is that in his house? He, you see people passing water in the living room? No. He was in the road. He is even giving you the location. The man, he said to him, Assalamu alaikum, Messenger of Allah. The guy, he did not answer. Here, the purpose, supposedly, Muslim, they are telling you, you should not say Assalamu alaikum to somebody who is holding his penis. He's busy. This is why Islamic countries is number one countries in the world who practice pissing on the road, in the, in the street, on the wall. This is the greatest prophet. And then after he finished, he dry his hands with the wall. Do you see it? He wiped his hand. And his face? I mean, the guy was just holding his penis and he was pissing. So what do you mean when he finished? He went to the wall. He's in the front of the wall. And now he is drying his hands on the wall. Do you remember the guy whose name is Osama Abdullah? I'm just remember him for, just for fun. Once he came to my chat room, I used to have a chat room in Palto. He said, Christian Prince, you Christians are dirty. You are properly, you are full of lies. I said, is lies is bad? He said, sure, <laughs> lies for dirty people. <laughs> so I said, are you sure? He said, I'm very sure. Come on, you know. <laughs> are you sure? I'm very sure. So then I said to him, so why your prophet was full of lies? He said, well, so why your prophet was full of lies as long only filthy dirty people have lies 
The second I showed him the hadith that his prophet is full of lies, suddenly lies is very normal at that time. Actually, they used to use it for fun. There's no TV at that time. Do you see how those people are hypocrite, liar, stupid? And this is what they that he do. Everything he said, it's about his prophet, actually. Another time he came and he said, hey, Christian Prince, in the Bible it says that uh, <coughs> Musa's his magic overcome their magic. There is no magic. Science proved that this is false. I said, are you sure? Again, you know, the Muslim, they have an article saying, when Christian Prince, he said, are you sure? You better hang up. This is why I'm not using it anymore. You know, I'm trying not to use it. Sure, <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> so I said, okay, hold on. In the Bible, it says that his magic overcome their magic because they are magicians, so they thought he is fabricating things, is making an illusion. But this is, according to us, this is not a magic, this is a miracle. However, it's a new call on you, idiot, that it's your God who opened a holy water school and he sent two angels to teach magic. I did not say to him your Quran. I said I, I thought there is a there is you know God he opened a school and said he said this is stupid this is funny <laughs> you know the second I showed him the verse he hung up and he left and then the Muslim they made an article about him how he opposed magic brother and they start attacking him. This is God in Islam sending two angels from heaven and the purpose is and by the way they come down in the Babylon Babylon tower and they and they for sure I mean this is the elevator and they send he sent them those two angels to open a school to teach magic can cause your divorce so if you are divorced or if you are thinking about it, simply because Allah He sent two angels to open a school of Harry Potter in order to make you and your wife fight. Read carefully with me. This is not my word. The angels they said, there's two angels said, they taught anyone such a thing, which means magic. And their name is Harut and Marut. It says here, Suleiman did not believe, but Shaitan does believe. What does this have to do with this? But anyway, suppose the Shaitan, Suleiman, he have a he have a magic of ring. Sorry, a ring of magic. He controlled the, the genie with the with the ring. So teaching man magic and such a thing that came down from in the in, in the Babylon, uh, the two angels, Harut and Marut, but neither of those two angels they taught anyone such a thing which in magic until. They had said, we are only for a trial. This disclaimer, you sign disclaimer when you join the school. Disclaimer, we are teaching you this as a trial, okay? Between two brackets, by learning this magic for, from us. I mean, look at this religion. Allah, he sent two angels to open a school, and the purpose is to destroy a family. And they make you sign a disclaimer that this is a trial. We teach you how to make a person divorce his wife. Disclaimer, it's a trial, okay? So and so and, and from those angels, people learn by which they cause separation between man and his wife. You see it? This is God and this is prophet. Who will believe this garbage? So if a guy is fighting with his wife because somebody he put magic, what the heck? This is God. And then if we go and read the story, we will find that Harut and Marut, when they came down, let me see if I can find the reference. I don't know if any of the admins, they have it. They have, they met a woman, her name is Venus. Her name is what? Or Venus. You know, the Venus, the, the love goddess, you know. Let me see if I can find you the English website. <sighs> I 
okay we found it here we go I will, I will post the link so you guys you can save it in your reference in case you want it give me a second I will give you the link here we go so this is her root and my root story save it please don't send me email you know I mean, I receive tons of emails. People, they think I have nothing to do in my life except just answering thousands of people emails. I spend all those hours with you. Well, save reference. The account of Harut and Marut at Islam.org. As you see, this is a very Islamic website. You can go, you can read. I mean, the story is, is hilarious. But you will see that those two angels, Allah, he sent them down because they said to him, you are going to create Adam and he will do mischief. And so Allah, he sent him down and he gave them all desire, which means they can have sex. When they go, went down, they found a woman. Her name is Venus. And she started seducing them. And they wanted to have sex with her. The angels, they got horny, which is very normal. You know, I mean, come on. I was an angel once, you know. I used to get horny too, you know. But after I left my job as an angel, so I'm not doing that no more. So now, uh, the woman, this woman, Venus, she asked him, like, okay, if you want to sleep with me, you have to tell me the password to go to heaven. If you don't believe me, the story in front of you. And this is a very Islamic website. Read carefully. Even the word Venus is there. Allah in 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 telling in in telling in telling in then guilt them in passion and desire like a human. So he sent them down to the earth in order that they should never make anyone his partner shirk, never kill anybody or wrongfully, never in, in indulge adult in, uh, like uh, in adultery, or never drink wine. Then he began, you know, guide directing people in the earth. The star Venus, listen carefully, this is a true story, brother. Muhammad, you don't lie, Allah don't lie, Islam don't lie. This is a star Venus, was very beautiful woman. She had gone to one of those two angels for obtaining some kind of decision. Do you see it? <laughs> Venus. <laughs> okay. At the very sight of her, that angel fell in love. Tuk 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 tuk. I mean, come on, you are an angel. You see a woman, she is so bit. This is Venus. This is not like, uh, you know, I mean, Nancy Belusi. I mean, even her name is Belusi. I mean, come on, this is an angel. this is this is this is a this is Venus. I'm sure, like all of you, if you see Venus, you will go crazy now. So don't blame the angel. So this angel, Venus, she came to him, you know, and you can imagine she's wearing high heels, uh, having lipstick, long nails, you know, like, you know, it's scary, you know, women have the nails, you know, they go, by the way, they go, you know, women, this is between us, don't tell people, they go to stores, to shops, to sharpen their nails. I'm telling you, and this is true, okay? They go there. And they like they put their hands on the machine, and then you see like the machine they do the knives, you know. Zzzz. So be careful, you know. I mean, if your wife she said to you, "I'm going to the saloon to do my nails," <laughs> that means something is going to happen. So behave, behave. Don't make her upset. Her neck is not too long for her hands. Now, so they saw Venus, okay, and they could not resist. I mean, this is Venus herself. So, uh, uh, so they feel in love with her. And told her the truth. Look at this angel right away. Like, I wanna, let us uh, let us go to the bedroom. Uh, okay, uh, with you, and my judgment will be uh, in your favor, but only when you give me a control of you. Well, he wanna jump. Look at this angel. You wanna take a ride? Can I have control of you? The woman Venus. She said to him, "What control of me? What do you mean?" He said, uh, he said, he said to her, are you going to play dumb now? Come on, you know what I'm talking about. Like, hello, you know the thing, you know? Now, the second he said to her, you know the thing, she knew that he is sent by Joe Biden, not by Allah. I mean, come on, it's it's obvious. Otherwise, why he would say, uh, you know, you know the thing. So uh, he said, uh, you know the thing? 
and the woman she like okay i cannot i cannot fool this guy he knew everything you know like okay now i know what okay so i yeah i, I cannot hide it that's i know what you mean by giving me control of you your yourself control yeah are, are you talking about the remote control or no hey, hey come on he wanna hold you from some places i don't want to give names details like what christian prince like her ears like hello i know where your dirty mind is going taking you <laughs> i get you busted so now look at this the woman promised to do so and fixed a time for them to meet look what the heck they have a date true story somebody called me that then she went to another angel to the other angel look she is dating two they do this a lot you know especially like in the internet you know uh, uh, dating this guy and that guy and everybody think like he is the only one and then both of them they are like uh, they send gifts and uh, <laughs> unbelievable so this woman venus she is dating two angels of allah each one alone so she went to the other you know and the same thing happened with him too look what the heck the guy right away he saw venus he went crazy uh Diaper, uh, diaper. Your name is Diaper Service. <laughs> no wonder. <laughs> okay, Diaper. I will come back to you so we can love. Hold on. Let me let me take a selfie for you. So because we need a love for, from time to time, I will go back to you after we finish. The Muslim they try to change our topic. You know, it's embarrassing. So the same thing happened to him, which means when he saw her, he fell in love and he wanted to do boom boom. And she told him later, I will meet you. Okay. And she gave him the same uh, promise and she and, and fixed time for them to meet. When both the angels reached to the, the venue, look at this. She gave them a date in Starbucks in the same time to get them busted. Like, you know, because each time now, each one of them, he think what? That the other angel do not know what he's doing. <laughs> you see? <laughs> Brother, look how smart she is, Venus. I'm, you know, I love the Greek people. I love the Greek people. Hey, Venus, are you still single? Oh, okay, anyway, I don't want to come out. I kind of date her. She would date to, like two of us and we go to Starbucks and like bingo. So listen, so she gave them a date for two of them in the Starbucks and they went together and they like got busted. Now, at the appointed time and saw one another, their head bowed in shame. Like, I know what are you doing? The other guy said, I know what you're doing too. But soon, decency went away from them and they said one to another i have come here for the same purpose so now they want to have a threesome the two angels and the and venus they want to have sex the three together perfect uh, both asked the women to allow them to have sex like what the heck those are angels of allah they want to have both sex with the women in the same time she made a prostrate before you know she's okay she's she made a prostrate before her idols and she and she and she made them drink wine and they got a beggar and killed by them uh, uh, and made them drink wine and get a beggar uh, killed by them so there's a guy he's a poor supposed to what happened this guy he got inside the tent and the both angels they were taken off their panties so the, the beggar he said to them oh i know what are you doing i'm going to tell everybody <laughs> you know so she said chase him chase him kill him before he tell everybody so they went outside to the bigger and they kill him and finally told them that she will not be pleased with them until they teach her the way to go up to the heaven <coughs> things are getting complicated now those two angels you used to decide uh, uh, uh people dispute what decide i don't know what kind of a story is okay people dispute during the day and go to the heaven at night ah so look at this they dispute with people at daytime at night they go to heaven uh -huh. okay makes sense makes sense because they want to be people to see them going up you know like it's a, it's an undercover mission okay so they refuse to teach the women how to go to heaven and she returned and did not fulfill their desire which means they did not do boom boom at least the angels they agreed to the last wish, which means they will have the password to go to heaven. So she will go to heaven. In order to experiment, she authored the words and taught by them and at once reached the heaven. While two stood wide-eyed, like, like what, you know, 
Allah turned the women into a star. Do you see it? Can somebody call Zachary Naik or the or the dad in his grave? This is a true story. Now we go to the idiot who said this. <clears throat> Mr. Diver, well, I mean, he's a Muslim, so for sure. There's a hadith that says that the Prophet, he taught us everything, including how to do shit. So it says, Christian Prince, the Trinity, made up by the church, father, 300 years after. So why do you believe it? Okay, Abdul, uh, where do you get the reference that this is made uh, 300 years after? Don't you Muslim say that Paul, he created Christianity? So Paul was exist 300 years after, you idiot. Don't you Muslim that you say that the book of John written 60 years after Jesus or 40 years? What's wrong with Abdul? Stupid is amazing. 300 years after they have a meeting to fight all other cults, to refute them. And even that meeting is not about Trinity, if it's true or not. Even the cult, they believe in the Trinity. So you are stupid. So after 300 years, all of them still, they believe in the Trinity, but there is a cult believing that Jesus in certain point was not exist, and he was created, and that made it a cult. But they believe that Jesus is God. So you are stupid and idiot, and they believe that he is the son of God. So this is a talk of dummies. Same time, as long our Bible or Trinity is made 300 years after, well, how come your Quran says that Allah, he agree with the Bible we have between our hands 600 years after? Do you see how easy to defeat the stupidity of this cult? Remember, it is him who said 300 years after, right? Trinity, 300 years after was created. Now we have Muhammad came 600 years after saying that Allah, he confirmed what they have with them at that time. Do you see it? Are you there, Mr. Diver? So now, are you going to wrap yourself in a diver because you are the one who's in charge? So if Trinity was created 300 years after, and then your stupid God, he comes 600 years after, saying, I confirm what is with them, and what is with them, according to you, created to be Trinity 300 years before Muhammad. So how does stupid Muhammad, he says, confirming what is with them? Are you there, Mr. Diver? This is false, it took them 300 years. No problem, you see, you can say whatever you want, I just get you busted. If it's false, how you're a prophet, even this is make it more horrible, you see how stupid you are? Guys, this is false. Okay, let us say it's false. So how the stupid God of Islam, he say, confirming what is with them? You see, you are not listening, you are a diaper. <laughs> this is your answer. <laughs> Fix it, fix it, try try something better. This is false. It took them 300 years to know which part of the Trinity is to consider God or which one is not. Okay, whatever you will. Let us say they believe in not Trinity, uh, four gods, five gods, seven gods. So how your stupid God confirm what is with them after 600 years? Are you there? Do you want to call me diver? It would be fun, by the way, to take a call from a diver. To be honest with you, this is the first time I will be talking to a diver. Beside Allah, for sure. Do you want to call me? Hello? So we can get the honor to speak to a diver. I mean, look at you. I mean, 
Is your wife sitting next to you? She must be proud. I mean, her husband, his name in the chat is Diver Service. What an honor, man. You must be from a noble family. Do you need Quran to support your belief? Okay, hold on. Guys, did you, did you hear what he's, did you see Mr. Diver? I'm sure your wife, she feels so lucky now. She was saying, she is saying to herself, man, my husband is the best mule between all the donkeys of Allah. Do you need the Quran to support your belief? Uh, so you just admitted that the Quran support my belief and that means you are stupid. Because of the Quran supporting my belief and you believe in the Quran, that's mean the Quran witnessing that we are right. So who's the donkey here? <laughs> oh boy. This is the problem with those Abdul. You see, I cannot find a person here of little intelligence to talk to me. And this is why they are very much intimidated because they don't know what will happen if they talk to me. Whatever they say, they are going to be in trouble. Whatever they say, even hello is going to cause them. Even hello. You know how, how hello is simple? I'm not really in the mood to take calls, but I will open my Skype to take maybe one call. So who is a Muslim would like to call me? <clears throat> a smart Muslim. We want a smart Muslim. Because I don't like to take calls at night. You know, they make you shout, scream, or daytime is better. Do we have any Abdul? I'm loading my Skype now. Okay, I am in Skype. Anyone? Do you want to call me uh, Mr. Sheikh Diver? May Allah bless your diver. <clears throat> Anyone? Okay. A Muslim calling me Muslim Prince? <laughs> Weirdo. All right, let us see. Maybe we have a Muslim here. Uh -huh. Okay, we have a Muslim here is insulting the Bible. Let us call him. The Abdul is not answering. We have a smart Muslim saying, he's right. In 325, they adopted the Trinity. Hey, Abdul, you see how stupid you are? If the Bible written 40 to 60 years maximum after Jesus, so how 300 years after they adopted the Trinity, who is the stupid here? <laughs> Because if they adopted the Trinity after that, then the Bible we have is not written 40 years. They have to be written 400 years after. Potato. Do we have any Muslim? Any Muhammadan? It's time to kiss the black stone. Mayday, mayday. Anyone? Who is a Muslim? He can take the challenge. Anyone? Okay, any half one. Forget about anyone. We take uh, we take half. Half Muslim is okay. 
What happened? Are we out of, of out of relievers? And you know, when the Muslim they speak about the Trinity, if you ask the Muslim, what is the Trinity? Ask them those in the chat. They will say to you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. So how your God, the stupid God, he says, that the Trinity in Christianity is Mary is God, Allah is God, and Jesus is God. And then in different verse, he says that the Christian, they believe that Allah is Jesus. Stupidity. So the conclusion is that the stupid Muhammad, he never heard A single word from the Bible to know if the Christian believe really that Mary is part of a trinity or not. How come the that he knew what the trinity is? How come Zakir he knew? How come Allah don't know? Allah wanted to prove that Mary and Jesus are not God. Why? Because they eat food. But we Christians don't believe that Jesus, mother, is part of the Trinity. And if if your God cannot eat food, and that will make him God, well, that God, you can't be God too. Because there is something he cannot do. My God, he can eat food, still he's God. <laughs> St <coughs> Let's call this Abdul. <coughs> we are calling Abdul. His connection is not good. Okay, well. Are they Muslim? Different Christian sect? Well, diaper, that, that is a diaper answer because your God, he did not say different Christian sect, he said, and the Christian they say, the Christians, the Christians. He didn't say some of the Christians. Stupid answer. Secondly, let us say for the sake of argument, a Christian sect believe in that. Okay, what is the verse to refute the Christians? The big sect. <laughs> so Allah is refuting the small one. That means Allah is against to believe that Mary is part of the Trinity. He is not against that to believe that God, the Father, God, the Son, God, the Holy Spirit. What is the refutation for the, the Christians, us? Okay, I will give him one more time. Call. Cool. Ah, this is Diber. Ah, this is Diber. So he's trying, he's playing, I think. I will call him one more time. If not, I will block him if he don't answer. Can your God Allah eat food, Muslims? Let me block this guy. This guy is just wasting my time. Do we have any brief Abdul? Anyone? So let us go with them. If God eat food, God cannot be God. Okay. Do your God, Allah, sit on the chair? Muslims? Muslims, do your God, Allah, sit on the chair? Allah, he sit on the chair, why? Human, they sit on the chair. Allah sit for what reason? See, I'm using your logic. Allah sit on the chair for what? Any Muhammadan? Anyone? Okay. Forget about Allah sit on the chair. What kind of God he forget? Do God forget? Muslims, do God forget? I am a man, I forget. Human, they forget. 
As an example, I borrow a hundred dollar from Abdul. This is practice in the Middle East. You know, I borrow from you one hundred dollar. Second, two minutes after, I forget about it. Yeah, I will go. I forgot. So I forgot about your hundred dollar. Okay, happy now. Okay, good. So, do God forget? Who was a Muslim when answer me? Do God forget? Any Muhammadan? I'm waiting for any Muhammadan. The Christian God forget the day of the uh, 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 the day on of the hour. That's a good answer. Okay, hold on. You just get your God busted. That's not true. We never forget the the the, the hour. It's your God who forget the hour. Let us go and see. Your God in the Quran said that the moon split and judgment day is in the corner. And the moon split, it was supposedly a sign of the judgment day. Did your God Allah forget that he started this day of judgment or no? Are you with me? This is your God saying, the hour down near and the moon has a big cliff ascender. So this is a sign of judgment day. The judgment day, you know, this is a sign started. Is it? We are 1400 years after. Right? Uh, this Muslim, he changed his name. He come with a different name. You know, 300 years after, nothing changed. 300 years after, they confirmed what is written in the books of the fathers. That's a lie. And even those who they are in this agreement with the church, they were believing that Jesus is still is God. So this is a stupid a few even to mention. And we just showed you that the Quran confirmed what is with us 600 years after. Where does it Allah says Allah you forget? I do not need to tell you where you tell me. I want the answer yes first. I want a Muslim to tell me and to call me right now. Do God forget? Who is a Muslim when I do it? Either it is yes or it's no. So, if Jesus eat food, he cannot be God. Well, Jesus eat food, but he yet food does not make any difference for him. And did Jesus fast for forty days? Who can fast for forty days without food? Did Jesus walk in the water? Did Jesus make the blind see? Did Jesus make the one dead come to life? So this is the only problem now. He eat food. Okay, Jesus, he made a person. Uh, uh, he was dead, come from the grave, and he ate sandwich after that. <laughs> So you remember that he ate the sandwich, but you don't remember that he just made a person come from the grave? <laughs> Who is a Muslim have the courage to call me? May they. My Skype is open, waiting for any Abdul have a courage. Anyone? Who is a Muslim? Okay, forget about my challenge. Who is a Muslim can call me and give me any proof that Allah is even God? Anything. Anyone? What happened to those? You know, we Christian prince, we challenge you. Uh, burqa, yeah, burqa, who's wearing burqa? What if you are in the burqa? I go live on air, I stay for hours asking for people to call me. I don't know who's going to call next. They don't dare. And then when a Muhammad and he called, they will say to you, oh, he is debating somebody you do not know. Okay, why the one who knows don't call? 
and when I shake, he called the accusing that he got paid by me. If you go and see the comment of my debate with the Sheikh of the Muslims in USA, of the Shia, this is a Shia Sheikh, they, they are accusing me that this guy is a fake Christian and he is acting as a Sheikh. Do you remember the Sheikh who, uh, this guy, his name is Qasim, he said to me, I will call my Sheikh to call you? After we debated with his sheikh, and they saw how horrible was the debate, he posted comments saying, oh, this was not the sheikh, it was my voice. I changed my voice. <coughs> Abdul and Abdullah. Ali Muhammadan? Who's next? Who's next? I mean, if Allah is God, you will find a billion way. Allah will help you, my friend. Is it Allah is God? He will help you to prove it. Well, don't mention the name of this guy in the door. He's just a kid. He's an old man, but he's a kid. He's man, you know, you have mental issue. He doesn't count for me. Do you remember when Mimi Hijab, he said to David Wood, not a single Jew, not a single Jew, he believe in the Trinity, all the Jew, believe in the oneness of God. And, you know, David Wood is not really good in debating, so he, he did not, he lost the chance to get him busted in, in, in the, in, on the stage. Not a single Jew. Well, the Quran says all the Jews believe that God have a son. All the Jews, not one, not two, not three, all the Jews. <clears throat> There's a Muslim calling himself Daibar, Daibar now, let us see. <clears throat> I think this is the same guy who is, you know, idiot. Maybe this is the ultimate fault, you never know. The only one who call us is those who, who, who accept nothing. So they can escape from everything. Okay, obviously you don't even have good internet. Any Abdul? Not a single Jew, not a single Jew believe that God is not one. Not a single Jew believe that God has a son. And David Wood was watching like, come on, like, come on, get him busted, get him in his nose, you know, get the booger out. Not a single Jew. And he repeat that many times. Show him the verse in the Quran, everybody will laugh at him. Do we have any Abdul? May the last call. Any Abdul? May they, may they. You know, Abdul, honestly, I want to convert to Islam, brother. I mean, come on. I mean, you know, in the other day, this is between us and you. And you can share it only in YouTube and Facebook and Twitter, but just private, please. When your prophet, he said that a woman in heaven, her ass would be one mile. I said to myself, what the prophet was thinking? Why he made it limited to one mile? Is that because this is the maximum size of panties Allah he have in heaven? What is the reason behind it? I mean, come on, Allah is all mighty. And the one who is almighty, he can make almighty panty. So what is the reason, brother? 
that her ass is only one mile. I'm trying to find the wisdom behind that. Do you think that Allah, he have limited space in the heaven, he can't make it bigger? And if he make it bigger, I mean, we are out of space. Do you think Allah, he was thinking or worry about uh, the cost of land because their ass is one mile? Mm. Mm. This is a, a book, it's called Tafsir al-Thalabi. Let's share this one with you just for fun, brother. Alhamdulillah. Thanks all to the Allah for all the penises and the vagina. He will provide us in heaven. Allah, thank you. Very number eight. Page number 343. Three. We will translate this, you know, use Google Translation. But before we go there, brother, it says here, it describes for us what we will have in the heaven. So Allah, he said, okay, you and your wives enter the heaven and have fun. And then you will be served and the tray will go around you. I don't know if those trays will walk by themselves or with the boys now. And then you will have cups made from gold and a bariq. You know, a bariq, by the way, isn't an Arabic word. Quran claimed to be Arabic. And those, a bariq mean, uh, uh, what the word in English? You know, the thing you make the tea on it, you know, what they call it? Like the one you put it in the stove. And then it have like a, like an elephant, uh, Forever, you know the thing. <laughs> but those brother, they have round heads, and does not have ears, and does not have like a, a khartoum. Like khartoum is like the the elephant thing. You know the, the thing come from the like where you 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 pull down the water from it. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, you know the thing. Okay, then he continue brother, and then he says. Uh, that the Prophet of Allah, he says, that the lowest heaven or the lowest degree of heaven of Allah is the is the one who is in this, that the heaven of Allah have seven degrees. And he will be in the uh, six and Allah will be above the seven. And the lowest degree, the lowest one, or let us say the lowest person in heaven, he will have 300 servants. And he will be served 300 trays of food a day. And they are from gold. And every tray have different kind of food. And all of them, they are very, very, very tasty. Okay, this is not important now. And then he continue. He says, And he have from the Huri, you know, the, the sex toys, 72 wives additional to his wives in, in the earth and each one of them her ass will take one mile in the ground takbir allah akbar takbir allah akbar any muslim have a comment and here he continues saying and the lowest person who enter heaven Allah will give him a houses or palaces. It is a hundred year of eye vision, like the extent of it. Imagine how big it is. And it is, it have in and every day, they will serve him 70,000 tray of gold full of food. And his lust and desire will be the same as he started from the first day to the end which means there's no end. Now let's use Google Translation. Because the Abdul, they might say, it doesn't say that CP as usual, you know. Does it say that CP or doesn't say that CP? Okay. So here it says, you know, above the six heaven, blah, 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 blah. And okay, 300 servant and 300 sheet or tray of food. Okay. As we said before. Now, 
he will drink in 300 vessels each vessel uh, color it's not color it's about the taste it will be different okay and it will be delicious after one to the end and then here he says let us see the wives where are the wives hmm. uh, where is the wife okay uh, the people of paradise okay 72 wives uh, uh, additional to that is his wives the Hori in this world and the one of them she will take her seat as much as one mile from the ground this is a Google translation as you see but her ass her ass her seat her bum she it take one mile this is how big the ass of a Muslim woman in the heaven mashallah mashallah brother After you finish me reading, you read the Salmon uh, 4-5. Well, uh, as I do that, he says he found the name of your prophet there. So now is the Salmon is bad? And you stupid, this is a song of Salmon. It's a song. It's not even God talking. Idiot, stupid. Dummy. Dummy is stupid. I mean, even it says the song of Salmon. Hey, so like, are you saying the song of Salmon talking about the size of the ass too? <laughs> so the Muslim now try to fix it to make it more blind. <laughs> oh boy, stupidity. Do we have any Muslim would like to call me? Me, the last time, last call. Any Muslim, my Skype is open. Who is a Muslim would like me to just text me, say I want to talk to you? Anyone? I forget about one mile ass. I mean, what a big deal. I mean, come on. Allah, he wanted you to have one mile ass women. So what? You know? What is making me worry, what if she fart? Ah, the heaven did on fart. Uh, that's good. Uh, that's a good news. Because I was worried about her poopoo too. Because if her ass is one mile, I mean, her poopoo would be what? A mountain. You know, I'm very disappointed about this. Because I thought, I'm going to have like one of those women. And then I'm going to sell her manure for fertilizing. Imagine if she do poo poo like twice a day, and each time she do like half mile poo poo. I can fertilize. I mean, the whole country. What say you, Muslims? Any Abdul? By the way, don't call me now, ask for fertilizer. We don't have the women yet. I mean, if I have the one, I will update you. I'm waiting for the delivery, you know? I mean, those Amazon these days is not working good. Yeah, but we have to be honest. And the man in the heaven, he will be, he will be big too. He will be 90 miles tall. And his wife is 30 miles tall. And you will be like less than an arm wide. So you look like a worm, like a Subway sandwich. 90 miles in a sandwich. How you can even walk? Do we have any Abdul? Okay, after we hang, uh, no, after we close our Skype, we will say, Christian Prince, we challenge you to debate us. No, it's not a huge. You know, we are a people, we like, you know, okay. Do you remember when it says uh, in the interpretation about the story of Zainab, when Muhammad, he was flirting with the son, with his son wife. It says that she was the most beautiful woman in Quraysh, the tribe of Quraysh. Why? She was big and beautiful. Big, big. Okay. The Arab, in the old days, they don't like women who they are skinny. So if you are like these days, you know, women, they are skinny, nobody will marry her. 
because obviously she have a, she have an illness. Let us open some reference. So Muslim will not say we are making things up. All right, we are opening. And this website is not functioning. Okay, let's try a different website. Yeah, something wrong with this website. Okay, let's try a different one. All right, let's see this one here. Oops, sorry, I hit the wrong, I apologize. Friendly fire, friendly fire. Okay. See here it says, فَأَبْصَرَ زَيْنَبَ قَائِمَةً وَكَانَتْ بَيْضَاءً جَمِيلَ جَمِيلَ جَسِيمَة جَسِيمَة, she is so huge. The Arab actually until now there is a like a, a songs in the in the in the folklore, in the culture, they sing for women who they are so big to the point, camel could not carry her. Like you know, when I was a kid, I was listening to the song about that a woman. She was so beautiful to the point the camel could not carry her. I could not get it. I mean, why the camel? She is so beautiful. Okay, and the camel could not carry her. So I was like thinking. I mean, why? And then later it took me some time, really, you know, I mean, it was as a kid, it took me some time to understand that the Arab, they like women who they are extremely oversized. So the more you are big, the more you are beautiful. Here it says that Muhammad, when he go to her house and she was wearing see-through clothes, mutafaddila, as you see here, Allah, he sent wind uh, and she was wearing see-through clothes. So he saw her and she fell in his heart. And she was so big. Let us translate to Google by using Prophet Google. Peace be upon him. Okay, now you need to find where is the word. Okay. We need to find, I think, the word white in English. Hold on. And then we will find the rest okay she was you see here it says she was white beautiful big this is the translation of gold you see it so she was white so she have everything an arab muslim man he want in a woman she's white this is their dream they worship white women and she is big so big and that means that she is so beautiful all right now for sure i mean uh, you are big, you are not, this is not really, I mean, okay, every every culture, they have their own. But just to explain to you why Allah is promising Muslim men to have women, they are so big. Let us see a person, his name is Harun, trying to call us. And he's trying to be funny, supposedly. Maybe this is the same guy, predicting. Yeah, I think it's the same guy. He is not online. We cannot find a Muslim to talk to us. Okay. Well, he is not answering. Don't text me unless you are a Muslim. If you want to talk to me, tell me you are a Muslim, I will call you. Don't send me hello. So as you see, and Muhammad, he, he saw, he saw her, and Allah, he sent the wind. Allah, he sent the wind. She was one of the most perfect women of Quraysh. So beautiful. That's why he's flirting with her. And she is married at that time to his son. And then 
Zainab, she heard the prophet glorify, glorification to her. Like he is saying, wow, you're so good. This is so, so, so beautiful, you know? Like, give me, give me, give me. Yeah. And then it says, so she mentioned it to the prophet. And then Zainab, he understood. He understood what? He understood that his wife, she is sleeping with his father. I mean, imagine your wife, you come home, and she said to you, your father was here, and he flirted with me. The man, he understood. Do you see it? He understood. There is something fishy. All right. We have a Muslim. <coughs> Hello? Hello? Mm. Stupid idiot, son of Muta. For sure we're running from you. Record it, record it. Stupid idiot. A person like you who said all the Muslims are stupid. And you are the only one who knows Islam. So why am I talk to you? Why am I talk to the Muslims? Because obviously, all Muslims, according to you, are stupid. I mean, from all the Muhammadan in the world, we did not find anyone except this boy sitting in his bed. He don't believe in translation. He don't believe in tafsir. He don't believe in hadith. He and he don't know Arabic. And he is the only one who can explain the Quran for us. And all the Muslims are donkeys. That's what he said. All Muslims in the world are donkeys. <laughs> That make you the only mule. <laughs> Why am I talk to you, stupid idiot? We need a Muslim, a Muslim. Who is a really a Muslim? This guy he will give me any answer he wish because he don't believe anything. I mean, it's up to him. Skype is sound very low. Oh, okay. Hey, no problem. I will put Skype on. No problem. Will I put it down so you don't be bothered? Uh, with the uh, with the ring, you know. Until we have somebody to call, there's no point. Do we have any Muhammadan? Yeah, we asked this guy. So what the Muslims who believe in Hadith and Tafsir? He said all of them they are donkeys. What about the Arab? All of them they are donkeys. <laughs> the companion of Muhammad, they are donkeys. Okay, the sheikhs who wrote the hadith, they are donkeys. Okay, how do you understand the Quran? I do not need Arabic. You are just for entertainment. Hmm. And the funny, by the way, that this guy is obsessed trying to retain his honor. We, to we took your call a, a thousand times. And people, they can search right now for ultimate fault calling Christian Prince. People will die laughing. Why you keep calling again, trying to return? You know, this is what happened to them, Those this, this kind of people. They get humiliated, and it's like somebody go to the casino, he lose. Like you, you go, you say, I'm going to play with the hand of dar. And then you lose the hand of dar. Then you go to play again to get back the hand of dar. You say, no, I don't want to make money. I want to get back what I lost. You lose again. And then, you know, like, this reminds me of the of Abdul. He wanted to hunt a lion, but this lion is very dirty. He liked to have sex with men. So he told them, "Where I can find the lion?" They told him, "Don't go there because if you don't kill him, he would do boom boom to you." The Abdul he said, "Okay, don't worry, I will kill him." So he took a gun. He have one bullet. He found the lion as they described. He shot at him. He missed. The lion, he woke up. He said, okay, either I eat you or boom boom with you. Ultimate fart, he said boom boom. Then he comes second day, and this time he have two bullets. He shot again at the lion under the tree, in the same place. He missed again. And then the lion, he woke up, the same guy. He said to him, okay, wolf, you again, <clears throat> okay. Well, either I eat you or I do boom boom to you twice because it was two bullets. Ultimate fault, he come, down, come back again the third day and this time he have three bullets. 
and the story continued three bullet four bullet five then he got a clashing cough ak-47 he got 30 bullets in it he went under the tree and he finished the first magazine he put the second one the third magazine 90 bullets you know and then he had no bullets the lion he woke up like what the heck he missed all so he said to ultimate fault are you here coming to kill me or to get boom boom true story <laughs> obviously he's coming for the boom boom i mean no way all those bullets and between you and the lion there's like not even a few meters and you missed all this is what happened to this boy are you calling me to kill me or to do what exactly what do you want <laughs> <sighs> can a christian say like ahmed al masih as and salam al masih yeah sure. the word salam is shalom the word salam is not islamic this is this is a this is a christian this is a jewish a greeting when the angels they came to mary what they said to her shalom unto you mary muhammad the thief he stole it everything in islam is a theft Uh, so do we have any real Abdul? Do you want to debate not to get boom boom? Somebody he want to shoot for real? <laughs> he called first time he missed, second time he missed, third time he missed. <laughs> and now you go, you search his name, you will find tons of recording. This guy reminds me of Abbas, by the way. Abbas, supposedly, but it's better Abbas at least. I mean, you can talk to him for a little bit. But they are hilarious. Any Abdul? Abdul is somebody, he believes in his prophet, and to believe in your prophet, you have to accept what your prophet said. If you don't accept what your prophet said, well, obviously you are not a Muslim. Even I can show you a fatwa saying that those who don't believe in the hadith of the prophet, they are not Muslims. And if you are, are going to explain the Quran by yourself without the scholars, yet you do not know Arabic, and you say whoever who I do not need to know Arabic, that is a that's mean you are mentally ill. You know that you have a mental illness because I can't explain a book unless I'm reading translation or I know the language. Otherwise, I cannot. <coughs> Alex saying love your enemy well loving the enemy is not by giving them hugs there's many christian they abuse that word and they misunderstood that word loving your enemy is by saving them from hellfire not by giving them hugs that is that is the extreme extreme love that you want to save somebody he might go to hell not only die he might go to hell so love your enemy is not about giving hugs not about being hypocrite to each other. Say, I respect your belief. No, I don't respect their belief. That is not love. That is a hypocrisy and that is a deception. That's mean you don't want to save them. Uh, why did you silence your Skype? I will start reading the Quran before, follow the Quran alone because you cannot send them, you cannot expose him without tafsir and hadith. Okay, hold on. Guys, look what, just to show you how stupid the Abdul are. First, I did not silence. This guy is an idiot, I don't want to talk to him. He's a, he's a kid. I want an adult. Secondly, you can call me, but you look what you just said. So what is the reason I'm not going to talk to this person? Because he don't accept the hadith, neither the interpretation, but he himself do not know Arabic. So we will talk about what? Do you see how stupid you are? So you are saying to me that the Christian prince is only correct if he use what my prophet said against me. You just said that. 
you are just a stupid like him you just admitted that the second we say your prophet said so you lost so the only way to escape it to say I don't accept the seer I don't accept my prophet to be my prophet this is how stupid you are <laughs> why do you silence your Skype I think I will start reading Quran and follow the Quran alone because even you cannot stand them no you cannot follow the Quran alone how you can follow the Quran alone Okay, the Quran says you do muta. Follow the Quran alone. Do you muta? Do do your sister rent her private part every night? The Quran says do muta. You follow the Quran alone. Go ahead. Do you accept the muta? You practice muta or not? Cowards. The second we say muta, they say, oh, it's not in the Quran says muta. Or, do you speak Arabic? No, I don't speak Arabic. And you know the funny is, if the Quran doesn't say muta, so why all Islamic interpretation says muta? Rent the women for sex. I mean, what's wrong with Muslims? You see the stupidity. Those who speak Arabic very well, they are the scholars of Muslims who teach Islam for centuries. They do not understand the Quran. And a person who live in Africa who don't speak two Arabic word, he is the one who knows what the Quran meant. Any Abdul? Are you saying you cannot expose him without hadith? No, I can expose him with it, but at least get me somebody he know how to read the book. I have an offer, Labul. As long as you don't accept the hadith, you don't accept the translation, you don't accept the tafsir. So we will read what? And you do not know Arabic. <laughs> you don't accept. You don't accept any translation. You don't accept any hadith. You don't accept translation for the Quran. You don't accept any Muslim website. You don't accept tafsir. You don't accept what his prophet said. So we will debate about what? What is left? Are you mentally ill? We will debate about what exactly? Are we going to debate about Joe Biden? Are you saying that you cannot expose him? But, but you just said, I can expose him with the hadith. You just said, I can expose him with the tafsir. That's what you are saying. Stupid people. I mean, where do where those people come from? Is that a diarrhea day? I can't find a smart Abdul to talk to me. Are you saying you cannot expose us without using our prophet words? Stupid is a me. Don't get married, man. Honestly, sometimes I feel sorry for women. Really, honestly. I mean, those women, they handle a lot of stupid men in their life. I mean, this poor woman, especially in Middle East culture, you know, women, she don't choose the husband. She don't even have a chance to choose. She, you know, men, the one who like her, he come to ask for her hand. And maybe a few of them during her lifetime, they will do that. And she have a short period. And she have to choose one before it's too late. Otherwise, she will never get married again. And then after she marry him, she'll find that she married the donkey, literally. Do we have any Abdul? Just to show you, by the way, that Muhammad himself is the best example of how women they suffer with a stupid man. A man, he is a blind, he come to Muhammad. And Muhammad, he said to them, oh, but hide yourself, hide yourself. The women, they say, the wives of Muhammad, they said to him, why you need to hide ourselves? Isn't he a blind? <laughs> he said, I know he's a blind. But are you blind too? <laughs> uh, <laughs> let us find the Hayyid, hold on. But as you know, women, they can see men in Islam. They can. 
I mean, they can. Do, do Muslim women go on the street and they have their eyes open? <laughs> so why, if the guy, he can't see them, whatever they are wearing, whatever, I mean, he cannot see anything. If they, if they don't make any noise, they will, he will not even know that they are there. This is telling you how stupid the IQ of Muhammad. Let us see the hadith. A smart man, you know, they got him busted. He don't want to say, oh, you are right. Oh, I forgot that he is a blind man. It's okay to not need to hide yourself or cover yourself. He don't want to, he don't want to say that, you know? He don't want to admit that, you know, it's, it was a mistake. Okay, tell them I was, I was wrong. Let us see the hadith. Read and love. This is why they want me, they don't want to use this. They don't, they don't want people to see the stupidity of their prophet because this is the evidence written by their hands. You see, this is not written by the Christians. This is not collected by the Jews. This is not a book made by the Hindus. So, hide yourself from him. Like, why do why we want to hide from him? He's blind, they said to him, his wives. It says here that she and uh, Maimuna, this is the wives of Muhammad, Umm Salama, and the, uh, one of the wives of Muhammad, her name is Umm Salama, the other one, uh, uh, her name is Maimuna, we are with the messenger of Allah and she said when uh, we were with him Ibn Mumaktum came and he entered upon him and that was after the veil uh, had been ordered so the messenger of Allah said veil yourself veil yourself from him they said oh message of Allah but he is isn't he blind such that he cannot see us or recognize us. So he said, Oh, are you blind? Are you too blind too? You cannot see him? Based on this, to make it make sense, women, Muslim, Muslim women, they cannot see men. Otherwise, why do they want to hide themselves? This is why they don't want the embarrassment of the stupidity of their prophet. The wives are smarter. They got him busted. Are you stupid or what? The guy is a blind. Why would to wear hijab? And okay, now they wear hijab. What the point? The man is blind and now they are wearing hijab. What happened? He cannot see them before. He cannot see them after. Nothing changed. Do you see the stupidity? And this is why they don't want this to be seen because then what they say that the prophet was a genius the prophet was genie not genius I mean the guy he don't even he don't know what he is talking about and by the way Hijab is not something you wear in your head, as Muslims they claim. Hijab is a curtain. You see the Mimi Hijab, his last name is curtain. You can prove that very easy. If you go to the Quran, we type the word Hijab here. And you will find the word Hijab appear in many places. And you will find that all of it is about a curtain. 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 
So even chapter 33, the verse is speaking about the hijab, speak about you have to speak to them from behind the hijab. Hijab is not something you stand behind unless it's a curtain. If hijab is something you wear in the head, you don't stand behind it. You know what I mean? So this is the chapter 33, it's speaking about the hijab. So Allah is saying that if you want to speak to the wives of Muhammad, speak from behind the curtain but the guy is blind read with me you want to ask them from behind a screen this is the word hijab do you see it so those abdul who do not know their religion suddenly the word curtain became something they were in their head because none of them understand what islam is about even allah himself he speak from behind the curtain you don't wear hijab do allah wear hijab if the word hijab means something we wear in the head, that means Allah is wearing burqa. Read carefully here. It says, it's not given to any human being that Allah should speak to him unless by inspiration or from behind a veil. This is a translation. But you can speak from behind a veil. Or what veil? Veil is something we wear behind the curtain behind that under behind and if Allah is above that's mean this veil is under his feet not above his head <laughs> stupidity you see everything the Muslim they say about the religion is a silly is a stupid they are the last one to know what Islam is about you ask any Muslim is it true that your prophet was illiterate? They will say yes. Okay, ask them where it says that uh, he was illiterate. Oh, they will say, ah, it's in the Quran. Uh, now for sure he will go to Google to search for where it says that, but no problem, we will help, you know. And you will find that the Quran didn't say that Muhammad did not know how to read. This is a stupid statement. The Quran confirmed that those who do not know the book of God, they are illiterate. And Muhammad, he is using the Jewish word, the Hebrew word, Gomai, which means they are pagans, they are from the nations, they are not from the nation of God. So, and, among, and they're among them, Jews. They do not know the book. You see? So illiterate here is about knowing the book of God, not about knowing how to write, how to read. Different verse. Chapter 3, verse number 20. It says here, And say to those who they were giving the scriptures, the Jews and the Christians, and those who they are illiterate, they are a pagan. Do you see it? Do you see it? So who is illiterate? Illiterate about having book of God. So the one who don't have a book of God, he is illiterate. And that to prove that Muhammad never was an Abrahamic. Because he was one of the pagan and he himself is called by Muslims illiterate. So do you get now the reference what I'm talking about? So Muhammad is illiterate. But his illiteracy is about what? He do not know anything about God. He was worshipping and he still worship the moon God. So when the Quran called Muhammad that he was illiterate, the Quran confirmed that Muhammad was a pagan Arab. Even their translation says, who are illiterate, between two brackets, Arab pagans. Do you see it? People, do you see it? They are what? They are Arab and they are pagan. So when the Muslim they say to you that the Prophet was illiterate, they are confirming that Muhammad was an Arab pagan. Anything else? Do you live in a gang area? Always I hear police coming. Well, you know, if you are afraid to live between the gang, don't live between the gang. What's your business? I live between wherever I want to live. Yeah, all my neighbors, they have a lot of guns here. 
They are good people too. I don't know what the word gang means for you. Maybe there's a fire somewhere. Oh, or maybe, maybe, one of my neighbors is Abdul. He opened the door of his bedroom. He found his wife, her private part in fire. Do you remember the story we showed before? Let me see if I can find it. The guy who opened the door on his wife and he found her touching herself. And he found fire in her pubic area. And where I'm going to find this now? Let me see. So maybe one of them he you know found and the sheikh he told him, Oh brother. She was having sex with a genie. That's why she have a fire in her pubic area. Because he's made it from fire. Makes sense. I mean, that makes sense. The guy is made of fire. Having sex with your wife will make her private part go in fire. Huh? You know? Well, why not? Let's see. Okay, I found this website here. This is ultimate fault, you know, he's coming back. Shall I call him, guys, just for fun? Let us call him. <clears throat> well, what happened? Hello? Hey Ultimate, how are you? Daddy, hello. Okay, Ultimate, what, what, do you wanna, what, do you wanna, what, what do you want to say to us? Is it true that you can have sex with, with the Nuts. genie? Okay. Whatever debate you want. Hmm? Any debate. Bring anything and, and I smack you. Anything. Propose any debate. Okay. Any subject. Uh, did he say anything? I must show you that you can never stand the Quran alone. You said I don't accept. Okay, you can stand the Quran alone. I, okay, I, okay, okay. I, I, I want that. you. I want you. I want you to read for me the following verses. Is that okay? Read. Why would I read verses for you? What does it do to you? Well, didn't you say the Quran alone? I said yeah, but read verse for what? I can read the whole Quran. What is what is the purpose of because, asking me to okay, read? Are verse? we going to talk about the whole Quran? We have to choose a verse. We can talk I about want it. A subject. Don't ask me. I can read seven okay. different languages. Can you read the Quran? You know, okay. No, simple question. Do you know how to read I the Quran? Said, do you I know, can read the Quran you know, in English. We speak in English here. Are, are we speaking Arabic? No, oh, so, we speak in English. So you do not know Arabic. Just speak English. Okay. I do not have to know Arabic. Do you know Aramaic? You don't know Aramaic. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Abdul. Why are you asking me to know Arabic? Okay, Abdul, because you pray to your God in Arabic. You don't know Aramaic. You are Christian. Okay. Do you accept this the Quran? Okay. Do you English. accept? Do you accept the Quran in English? Do you accept the Quran? Do you accept the Quran in English? Do you accept the Quran in English? Do you accept? I accept any language. In Fulani, English, French. Okay. Any. All right. So let us go, me and you, and let us read a verse together, and you tell me what this verse is about. Is it go ahead. Read you want huh you pick 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 any verse they just do you know how many verses in the quran do you know, know how many verses no i do not know tell me see okay i want so, in the front of everybody so I I wanna, you. okay in front I I, you don't, on that don't, one. don't waste my time don't waste my time you are the one who knows how many verses abdul what which one allah created first which one allah created first the earth that the earth that's or, the, or, that's, or that's, no, it matter, it matter, Abdul. Are you going to play games now? It matter for me. I want to learn from you. Which one Allah created first, the earth or the sky? I said, does it matter? Is that the answer? You want the debate now? That's it, guys. Doesn't matter. It, he won. I mean, we are done. This is the answer. I can read it first, <laughs> guys. I can read it, it first. Doesn't, it doesn't matter. 
No, it matter. What, 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 what do you mean? I thought I thought you know all the answers. I thought you can debate me. You send me a text message. You said you want to expose me. I'm asking you which one Allah which one Allah created first, the earth or the sky? Very simple. Don't tell me it doesn't matter. For me, it doesn't matter. Go ahead. Tell me. It doesn't matter to me because me, I'm here to worship Allah alone. Oh, okay. So it okay. So it doesn't matter for you to, to tell me. Okay, Whatever but Allah created first. Abdul, Abdul, ultimate four. It matter for us, all those people want to know. Hey, people, give me one if you, it, is, it doesn't matter for you to know. If no, Allah the, verse. the earth go, or the heaven go first. Ahead, go ahead, go ahead, read the you verse. Say, I don't know you which say one it, one you, you can, by, based on the Quran, to answer me alone, the Quran. So I'm asking you, based on the Quran yes. alone, Allah no, created the earth or the heaven the first. first. Abdul, I'm not going to quote the verse. No, no, I'm not going to quote the verse. I'm asking you, which one Allah created first? I don't know. So you are the one who want to debate me. The answer is, I don't know. Yes. Do, do you know anything in the Bible? Look at this idiot. Okay. Oh, so okay, I can't be honest enough okay. to say I don't know. Okay. okay. Well, <laughs> you want me to lie. So now you are being honest. Okay, so now you are being honest. Okay, let me teach you that. You want me so to now, lie, yeah? So now a Christian prince will, will score you. Here we go. Chapter 2, verse 129. It says what? Tell me. You said you do not know. I'm going to teach you. Go ahead. You said what? Chapter 2 what? Chapter 2, verse 29. Verse 29. Mm -hmm. All right. So you can read. I know you can say P. Can you say P? Answer, Abdul. Answer. People are laughing. Verse 29. He's the one who created for you everything on earth. Okay. Then turn to sky, uh, mm -hmm. to, to the sky, and perfected seven universities therein yeah. yeah seven university yeah okay so which one Allah created uh, finished first oh I, I I guess you thinking that when he said who created for you this is another question <laughs> Turkey listen which one based on this verse which Allah which one Allah finished first the earth or the heaven Allah is not talking about Allah is talking about everything on earth not the earth itself it says it is he who created for you or who, whatever okay I, I will go with you guys he's not it's talking about the, okay 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 i will go with you okay okay you just you just okay you just okay 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 guys allah created allah created for us whatever whatever on the earth okay. but people will laugh we are recording this so now you said Allah created whatever on the earth. Okay, that's the, the first creation. Well, just, what is no, the second you creation? Just, he was talking about the earth itself. But what? it's not talking about the earth. It's, it's talking about what's on the earth. Great, wonderful. So what Allah created okay, next? Between the car uh, and the people in the car. Okay, God, the car, okay. the people in the car. Okay, okay. So and what next? Okay, what next? What next? Let us see. You are, you are laughing from pain now. What is next? What is next? What is next? Yeah. What next? Is he, yeah, he said he perfected the universe. So okay. he's not saying that he created it. He perfected. That uh -huh. means that what is the word? What is the word? What is, what is the word perfected? What is the word perfected? Can you show me? Read it. Read the verse in Arabic now. Uh, I'm you, reading but, translation. But, but you do not know Arabic. Okay, it says, it says, it says, it says, So he went, then, 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 then he went up to the heaven, shut up. Then he went up to the heaven and he made them seven heaven, correct? I said, he was comparing the creation of the uh, heaven and the earth. He's comparing? He's not talking about the earth here. He's talking about the things on earth. Ah, so you all... Okay. But does it say yes. there? Does it say there then? Does it say that then he went to the sky and he made them seven sky? No. He says here, uh -huh. what I'm reading here, uh -huh. it says, uh -huh. he says, then uh -huh. turn to the sky. Uh -huh. uh, just listen. Then uh -huh. <coughs> uh, he turned to, to the sky uh -huh. and Perfected seven universes therein. Okay, so he made it seven universes after he finished everything on the earth, correct? Perfected. Okay, so is this uh, not created? Uh, Abdul, Abdul, do you know, Abdul, do you know, what, do you know uh, the uh, difference? Abdul, Abdul, I'm just, I'm just, being, I'm just having, I'm, I'm just being so patient with you. So let us make it clear. Before Allah, okay, before Allah. English. 
And I'm exposing okay. your ignorance uh, of science of everything. Uh, science, science and energy, like your, your energy. Uh, Abdul, 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 everybody, everybody is dying and laughing at you now. So when Allah perfected, I swear to God, they know I'm schooling you. Stop talking because we cannot talk at the same yes, time. Go ahead. I'm going to school you today. I'm going to show you ignorance okay, to the okay. world. So listen, I'm having patience. Honestly, I'm holding myself just to talk to I you. I'm, now, so, you Abdul, 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 listen. You know? So Allah perfected the heaven. What he did when he perfected the heaven? He made seven heaven. What he, what he did exactly? Explain to us. Uh, I'm, I'm going to give you a, an English lesson. Oh, my God. Hmm. But to, to perfect, okay. if what? you create a park, uh, let me explain. Okay. You ask me a question, you can let me answer. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, sit down, be quiet, okay. yeah, and I'm going to give you, I'm gonna give you some, uh, I'm give you some notions okay. in English okay. to perfect. Okay. If you if you're perfecting something, that means that you've you've already created it. Okay. So now you're perfecting it. Hmm. To perfect something, hmm. let's say you build a house. Okay. Okay. You put bricks on, bricks everything. Hmm. Now the house is in shape. It's there. Okay. Now you're gonna perfect the house. Okay. You're gonna paint it. Put some little thing, put flowers here, put some, you know, put all these things that goes with. Okay. Perfecting. Okay. And Making it perfect. So, what Allah, what, what, so when Allah, Burn, when yeah. Allah perfected, Burn. stop saying the same thing. When Ignorance Allah, people. Abdul, you are repeating yourself. When Allah perfected what he did, he put a flower, what he put there? It doesn't matter. No, it matter for me. What he did. What that. he did. What he did. All I know that. Okay. From so, the first, so we do we agree? That. So do we agree? No, the oh, Abdul. was already there. Abdul, 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 Abdul. You, you, you thought Abdul. this was talking about Abdul. Did Allah put the flowers you, there or He put the stars when He perfected the seven you, heavens? I said you thought this was talking about am, the creation of the heavens and the so earth. It's not it's about, not so about it's not about creating the stars. It's talking it's, about. Okay, so it's not it's not about creating the stars. This is not talking about the creation of the heaven and the earth because there was already no, no, there. Listen to the question. When the Allah is there, Abdul, the listen, listen, to the question, there. listen to the question, you, Abdul, Abdul potato. On the earth, like trees. Potato. And, and, so, and, 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 I want you, you know, to confirm. I want you to right confirm. Now. Is Allah saying that I went to heaven to make the stars, or it doesn't mean the stars at let's all? Let's go to the verse. No, let's go to the verse. Whatever verse you, you're no, talking no, give about. Me the answer. No, give me the answer. He, did he I mean, don't know the did he mean, I don't know. Did he mean, no, don't tell me I don't know because you are the one schooling me now. So I you know. No, I am not so Allah. You say I am a single. Uh, okay, okay, Abdul. Let's so go to the verse when, and Allah, I you said, uh, when Allah perfected the stars, <laughs> That's what I do. stop being like I a kid. You know, I'm, you I'm your holding voice my patience. I'm holding you my patience. You know, you're shitting your pants right now. Stupid idiot. I'm humiliating you in front of the world. Okay. Okay. You know. So That's what when I Allah when Allah perfected you, you, you the seven heaven, what he did? You are you, today I, I I I get hypnotized. You cannot even hang up on me. That, that, that's what I do. Man, you know, man, man, because man. I'm exposing you to the point where you are so ashamed, uh -huh. you you don't know what to do. Okay, so now, you know? so is, is that, that is that your up, final answer? Is that your final you answer? Is that your final you Abdul? Is that your you final know? answer that you do not know? That's my. Fa I I only know what Allah is saying. Let's go to the verse. Okay, whatever he's saying. Okay, guys, let us go to the verse. I know what Allah is saying, but Allah is saying, okay, but Allah he said, but Allah he said, okay, so let us, let us agree, Abdul, stop talking, stop talking for a second, stupid. Yes, so, go you, ahead. Do you agree, okay, do you agree based on this verse that Allah, he finished everything in the top of the earth and then he went and the sky was not perfect yet? Do you agree? No, no, what I agreed is Allah said, mm. He, I'm gonna read the verse again. I agree only on what Allah said. He perfect uh, first. He said, uh, "He's the one who created for you everything on the earth." Okay. It does not mean. It does not mean he created back then. It does not what create what. It not create what. Everything that is on the earth, know that it's the creation of Allah. That's what you learn from that. Okay, but he is it... the one that created every heat. Listen okay. to me. Okay. He might be having created something there, and now maybe as of 2021, he's still creating something on the earth. Ah, you gotta learn from that. No, but he here earth, it says it says all. Oh, it says there. That's what you learn from that. People are laughing at you. It you says, don't know English, bro. Abdul, it says all, all, all. 
It says you all gonna learn today. Abdul, Abdul. It's you got to learn today. Abdul, You're stop laughing. talking to yourself. People are, yes, that's people what are I do. doing nothing at you. Right? That's, that's why, why I told you, by the way, because we need to entertain you. It says here me. he created for you all that on earth. No, he said everything on the earth is my creation. Ah, that does not. He said that. Uh -huh. <laughs> He is the one. So why he's saying we then, the okay, as long as he's saying everything on earth is my creation, so why he's saying then, then he went up to the heaven? Why he's saying then? What what the word then for? Then I'm going to do, then I'm going to the to to perfect the heavens. Uh -huh. perfect. So which one Allah finished first? It's about finishing. <laughs> the heaven got perfected. <laughs> After he created things on the earth, that's it. That's all you know. He's not talking about the creation of the earth. Okay, okay. Don't confuse putting things on the earth and creating the earth. Okay, okay, I'll do it. So I will go with you. Everybody, you know, I actually. You gotta go with me. This you is... have a choice. Okay, 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 okay. Chapter... People create cars. Abdul, if Abdul, car okay, created, Abdul, Abdul. Now, now Chapter... Abdul, 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 let me get. Everybody, yes. will, everybody will laugh at you now. Chapter 41. Yes. Chapter 41. Chapter 41. Uh -huh. it says, what? Read for me verse number 9, 10, and 11. Chapter 41, verses mm. 10, 9, and 11. 9, 10, and 11. Uh -huh. 41, 9, 10, and 11. Uh, hey, I smack you, bro. This is... Uh, I'm, okay, I'm, this watching. Is I'm watching. Read it. Chapter 41. Mm. Verse what? 9, 10, 11? Yeah, focus, focus. Yeah, 9. Start with nine. Chapter uh, Fusilat. Okay, nine. Fusilat. <laughs> Fusilat. Say. Verse nine, you said, right? Mm -hmm. Say, you disbelieve in the one who created the earth in two days. Okay. And set up I what? <laughs> and and set up idols to rank him. I so he's the Lord of the universe. <laughs> okay. He created the earth in two days, okay. and you are set, setting up idols to rank him, mm -hmm. even though he's the one that is the Lord of the universe. Okay. Verse, verse nine. Okay, verse, ten, no, verse number 10. Continue. He placed on it, on earth, mountains, mm -hmm. made it productive. See? And he calculated its provisions in four days mm -hmm. to satisfy the needs of all its inhabitants. Mm. Verse 11. Hold on, no, hold on. In the previous verse, you said to me, Allah is still creating in 2021. Here it says that Allah created everything in the heaven we need. Correct? No, 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 no. You just, said, said. You just said that. That he calculated, calculated his provision in four days. It says calculated, or it says it, it says they're calculated. Really? Where, it, Let's go to verse. where it says calculated, calculated. So did you go to Allah, Arabic? Allah calculate no, Arabic is my first language. I am an Arab. So did Allah did, did Allah calculate the mountains? Let's, he said he calculated every provision. That okay. we need. Okay, read again verse number 10, please. I want to focus with you, with your translation. Okay. okay. So, okay, so he calculated everything we need. So don't be saying that he created. No, calculated. Okay. It's are, not created yet. Are you reading uh, from the beginning of verse number 10 now? 10. He okay. placed on it stab, uh, 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 stabiliz uh, sta uh, uh, stabilizers. Uh, uh, yeah. So stabilizers, okay, uh, to stabilize okay. the earth. Okay. He, right? pl he placed what? Mountains. Okay, so he did not calculate mountains, he placed mountains, correct? Yeah, he okay. placed like okay, thank you. Okay, so he put mountains and what he did next next. And made the and, and next he made the earth productive. Okay, what does that mean? By calculating, productive means, you know, if you put some grain in on the earth, they're going to come out productive. Okay. So he put uh, greenery, like trees, you trees. Know, you know, 
Do you know what production is? I'm really to produce. I want more details so you can help me. So he put a trees, you mean? He, he, yeah, so yeah, he, yeah, I gotta teach you. Okay, so productive. So, means yeah. productive. Now, mm -hmm. let me answer your question. Okay. You, you know, you don't know the meaning of being productive. No, I don't know. Tell me. Tell me. Apparently, you, you're not productive for the Christians because mm. you don't teach them shit about the Bible. So don't, you're not productive. Don't curse, don't curse. Don't make being me insult. Don't make me insult you. Hold on. So tell me, saying, tell me about protective. Uh, protective. It's Sorry. another way to to teach you what being productive means. Okay, tell me. Go ahead. Okay. So being productive is getting out what if, if you want your son, you know, to... Uh, to go fetch some water or do something, you know, bringing something on the table. Being productive is is getting some outputs. Do you know what output is? Inputs and outputs is some economical terms. Mm. I gotta teach you some economy too. What does have to do with my question? This is about the earth. This is about the earth, Abdul. This is about your son and my son. This yes, is about the earth. So, the, earth. So, the earth is producing goods for us. Okay, what That's is, the, what is the goods? What is the goods? The earth is producing now. Listen to the verse. And he calculated all you know, its, prov its provisions okay. in four days to satisfy the needs of all its inhabitants. Like what? The animals that like eat. Give me you example. gotta eat everything. The, eat. the, the trees need some stuff. Anything that lives on earth needs something. Okay. So all those are calculated. So trees. So you are saying. So to, it's, you are saying things. Them, okay, to make to it clear. To everything. To trees. To animals. To great. Goods, to wonderful. You know, so the second thing Allah he did, guys, listen carefully, Mister Ultimate Fart, he said. Okay, and I understand now. Let me let me make my comment. Let me make my comment. Yeah, you are clear, very clear. Thank you. Thank you. Very clear. So that is Allah he made. Allah he created the earth in two days, and then. Next, he put mountains in the top of the earth. Number three, he calculated everything, including making the trees and the, uh, the production of the, of the earth. Thank you, including animals, etc. Wonderful. Then, yes. then verse number eleven. Go ahead. What is next? Allah, then, he did. Then he turned to the sky. Okay, and what he did? When it was still gas. Okay. The sky was still gas. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And said to it. And said to it, hmm. and to the earth, come into existence willingly or unwillingly. Hmm. Yes, he. They, they said it says existence. Come. It says existence there in translation. Yes, but in verse you number, can, but in verse number nine, already he created the earth. Can go to, 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 I'm reading the translation of Rasul Khalifa. You can open it and no, see but, online. But, okay, but okay, my, my friend, I'm asking so you, you now. See, but isn't it you I'm, who said? Isn't it you I'm, who said? No okay, isn't it you as say who said in the same translation that Allah He created the earth in two days and then He made the production and He put the mountains on the top of the earth. So the earth already exists. So what do you mean came to existence? He said while it was still in gas. But the earth is not, it's not gas, the earth is already created and he finished it. Do you it. know what the earth was? What? Do you know what the earth was? It was created Maybe already. Earth. The earth, it's you. It's, it, it, has it, has is you who, it is you who Maybe. said, it is you who said yeah. that the earth yeah. is created in two days and then Allah, he placed mountains and then he made the earth protective. I asked you, what is that? You said he put trees and animals and etc. Correct? So now the earth is so the earth, it, yes. the, so the earth is exist. Okay. So now the second, the next, next. Allah then he went to the sky and the sky was a smoke and then he ordered the earth and the heaven to come. Yes. Okay. Not, not to come to existence, to come, you know, okay. Obeying or not obeying. So to obey. Okay. And then verse number 12. Read for us 12. 12. Hmm. Now, now, now you're understanding better why, 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 why I'm asking you to call me daddy. Because hmm. that's, that, that, that's what daddies do for the kids. All right. We will they see. Lessons, they teach them. Okay. Thus 12. Listen, son. Thus, he completed the seven heavens in two days. Okay. And set up the laws for every universe. Mm -hmm. And now here is a, that was a he, right? Now it's a we. And we ordered the lowest universe with lamps and placed guards around it. Such is the design of the Almighty, the most omniscient. You got it, son? 
Okay, so okay, Daddy, I will, I will call you Daddy now because you deserve it. So, Daddy, Daddy, listen. So yeah, the last thing. I'm your daddy. So, yeah, hey, Christian, you heard him call me daddy. Abdul, yeah, do you hear it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, yeah. now yeah. you know. You are daddy cool, not only daddy. Yeah, yeah. Listen, listen. But when yeah. I ask you about uh, when I ask I mean, you about Abdul, when I ask you about chapter two, verse yes. number twenty nine, I said to yeah. you, did Allah create the sky after the earth? You said no. He did not. Uh, you know. Okay. Now you just said that the, the last thing Allah created it was the stars. No, but for, no, for the sky, okay. he said. I we, we never talk. We spoke about last and first year. Okay. The first. What first, is the last thing Allah created? According to the Abdul, Israel, Abdul, Israel. Abdul, 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 Mr. Daddy, Let me speak, bro. Abdul, Son. The, the daddy, the daddy, the daddy. Okay, daddy. Okay, listen. Yes, yeah, so daddy. The last, the last thing Allah created in oh, verse number twelve. I want you. I what want is you to the last to thing. Stop daddy, being okay. playing stupid. Now, listen. What is the yes. last thing Allah He did in verse number twelve? The last thing Allah did in verse number 12, mm -hmm. I read it again. He, mm -hmm. where is it at? And we are done the lowest universe, okay. the lowest, mm -hmm. not the whole universe, okay. to my, the lowest universe, mm -hmm. we slam, not the highest, the lowest. Okay. You can make prodigies, okay. there's universes. Okay. The, the lowest one got all done with lamps okay. and they placed guards around it, around the lowest. Not the whole universe, okay. only to the lowest. You got to learn okay, to okay. Don't confuse so, the whole universe. Okay, okay, we got it, we got it. It's not, guys, it's not the whole universe, it's the lowest. We got it, we got it. So the last yes. thing Allah created, yes. so the last thing Allah created is the lamps, correct? For the, I, I don't know if the last thing, he, he, the, the, the word last is not here. You are the one who said to me the last thing. I asked you, what is the last thing? Okay, Abdul, it's, does it say then, then, does it say then, 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 then he completed and finished them in form of a creation, seven heaven. And, and, and then he made the in the lowest heaven stars. Yes. Lamps. Okay. So what is the last thing according so to this verse he did? Do I need to teach you that then does not mean... Uh, uh, last then means after after that okay. after the other so one after what then after all okay last. okay good good so after let me give you, let me give you English guys, then, then ultimate fault ultimate fault let me teach you English the, the, the daddy then who did not know who was there last. look what you just then said means look, after the <laughs> after the after the other one thank you thank you next thank one. you it's okay after okay. so so guys after all Allah he finished the earth verse number nine. And Allah, he created whatever in the top of the earth, verse number 10, and in the production, you spoke about it for an hour. And then after that, he went to the heaven, it was a, it was a smoke, which means there's nothing. And then he made the stars as the last step in verse number 12. There's the, the no last step here, then. But it is, then. The, it is the last in the order we are showing, correct? Yeah, yeah, in, the, in, this, in this order, this is the last, but Thank it doesn't you. mean that. Thank you, daddy. You will be remembered for the rest of your life to be the idiot of the village. So now I want you, I want you, I want you to open this verse with me because everybody will die laughing at you, you stupid idiot. You call oh, me. Oh, well, let us see. Okay. Tell me what verse. Okay, okay. Everybody heard you saying that it is the last thing. Yes, it is the last thing. Yes, it is then, the then, then, no. then, 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 then. I talked about. Okay, Abdul. Abdul Mutaboy, read for me, read for me, potato, 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 read for me, chapter 79, Abdul, chapter 79, verse number 27, 28, 29, 27, go in there, brother, 79, 27, call me brother now, they'll call me daddy today, yeah. You know that's what I do. You know why you you know why you're running away from me? Read, read, read. Twenty-seven. You said seventy-nine, twenty-seven. Yeah. Okay. Mm. And Naziat, twenty-seven. Mm. Are you difficult to create than the heavens? He constructed. Okay. It's just a question. Okay. Continue. What what, what is hard to do with this? Continue. Oh, you want more verses? Yeah, we want more. A lot of more. Okay. So, uh -huh. so in this case, you should have said, 
Go with starting. Stupid. Starting continue. Words. Continue. No, no, no. Continue. I'm going to do some English lessons, Abdul, man. Stupid. You, you are very nervous. Like I said 27, 29, 20. I, read, I said, I said, read. Stupid. Yeah, idiot. Read. read. Okay, I don't will. make a topic I'll... about this now. Okay, guys, next time yes. I should say starting. Please. Okay, continue. Yeah. You, you got to learn today. So, <laughs> I start over. 27. Uh -huh. Are you people... Do you think that you are you are more difficult to uh -huh. to create okay. than the heavens? Okay. He constructed the heavens. Okay, see, pig. Continue. I created the heaven, and you are insulting him. Continue. He raised it masses and perfected it. Okay. Right. Okay. It is, this is a reminder of what the, of of what he just told you out there. Uh, okay. 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 Uh, twenty nine. Okay. He made the night dark and bright. And uh, it's more okay. 30. He made the earth egg shaped, egg shape. It says they're egg shape. Okay, continue. Yeah, oh, okay, egg okay. Shape. okay, okay, yeah, <laughs> okay, continue. Yes, okay, continue. Uh -huh. It derived from eggs. okay, continue, uh -huh. continue. Uh -huh. oh, continue. Uh -huh. Abdul, continue. Okay, continue. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, Means Abdul, shape. Abdul. Right? Fort, continue. First, do you agree that uh -huh, continue. it dropped from eggs? Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. We will go back continue. there after, after we finish. We'll go. You ask the question. Abdul, Abdul. You will get some doubt. Continue. I answer continue. You. continue. Potato, continue. Yes. Continue. Consequently, God committed him to the rectory beach. No, 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 no. What was I reading? 20, no, no, no. <laughs> I went out. Uh, where is that? Egg shaped. Well, okay. From it. Well, 31. Read, read verse number 30. It, read verse number 30 again. He made the earth egg shaped. But, but, okay, what the, the, it says, and he made the earth, uh, this, this doesn't say, and after that? No. You verse 30. Okay. I'm not going to lie to it you. You can open it from the place I'm reading. Okay. It doesn't he say, made the earth egg shaped. Okay, no, no. I'm asking you. Does it say the word after that? What? Does it say the word in the verse and after that? No. No? He said he made the earth egg. I'm reading. You can put it on the screen so there, out there. So there is no okay, so there's no so there is no after that. It's no after that. Okay, he continue. said okay, continue. he made okay, okay. he made the earth egg shaped. All right. Point. Nothing else. All right. 31. From it he produced its own water and pasture. Mm. 32. He established the mountains. 33. All this to provide life support for you, dummy, and Sultan God, mm. and your animals, mm. dummy, and Sultan God. Mm. God favors to you, mm. and you don't recognize them, and you're insulting him. You okay. turn to him. Okay. 34. Then. No, we stop here. So when the look, 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 Abdul, son of Muta, listen carefully. In your translation, in your translation, it says that and he made the the the, uh, the earth in the, in the egg shape, right? But here it says bada darika. What bada darika mean in Arabic? Bada bada. This the bada. Uh huh. The babla. No, it says bada darika. What bada darika mean? Okay. Bada zarik means after that. Thank you. So after that, so after Allah, he created the sky. After Allah, he made the, 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 the lamps. After Allah, he finished the sky. After that, he made the earth flat, not shape of egg. After that, he brought the water. After that, he put the mountains. But in chapter 41, you donkey, it says the opposite. And you are the one who agree it's recorded. So those who will make a video later, they will put your voice. Son of Muta, don't call me again. I'm done with you because we want to just to have fun. And those now they will make the video, they will put your voice saying what you said to me previously in the last 10 minutes. Because we asked you clearly, which one Allah, based on this, he did finish. And you gave me, you, call, you said, okay, now I'm going to teach you English. I'm today, today from now you call me daddy. And we ask you, okay, what is the last thing Allah he finished? He said the stars. <laughs> Based in the chapter 79, the last thing Allah he did is the mountains. <laughs> <laughs>
And the first thing he did, it was the sky, and then he created the light. <laughs> and after that, he made the earth flat, you stupid donkey. Where is egg? You can go and right now to any dictionary, you will see that the word the ha mean he made the earth flat. Your stupid donkey, Rashad Khalifa, is a liar. You can go right now, I change anyone. Go and see what the word the ha ha mean. The ha ha mean to make it a flat, not a shape of an egg. So, uh, uh, ultimate four. Now you will try to call me more because now you got humiliated and you will become the joke of everybody for the coming century. You see the benefit of calling you? Anyone have little brain, he saw what you just did. You confirmed to us in chapter 41, and we asked you clearly, what the production mean? You said, you don't know what production? You don't know what production? <laughs> no, I do not know what production. Tell me what production. <laughs> What hilarious, <laughs> brother! Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to delete this video until everybody download you and I challenge you, son of Mota, to download this video and put it in your channel. Correct, guys. If this guy was able to refute me and to school me, he would be so proud about what just happened. In the same time, you just got your stupid uh, Khalifa busted. We asked you, what Ba'da Thalika mean? You said, oh, it doesn't say Qabla uh, Thalika. Suppose he speak Arabic, supposedly. It says Ba'da Thalika and after that. This is your, even your Islamic translation says after that. So when this donkey, he said to you that the word he took even the he took all of this in the Quran, and after that he took it off, and he made it, and and he made the earth like an egg. Now I know why the Muslims killed him. Even though usually they support fabricators. But he went extreme in his fabrication. And if you go to the dictionary, actually you would not need dictionary, you can go any tafsir, because why the Muslim they will they will hide such a thing? You know what I mean? Why the Muslim they will not translate the word? You will not find a single translation except this coward saying that this is mean egg shape or eggs shape potato let us open dictionary so everybody can see and everybody can laugh and actually you can copy the Arabic text as it is and you can post exactly the text in Google translation for some reason this thing is not working let us see hold on it's here is asking me a click at the following pages <laughs> click at the buses uh, okay click at the image uh, the one container bus oh, okay uh, the one container bus okay it's not allowing me to go in I don't know okay next yeah. They want to be sure I am a human. Okay, now we are going inside the dictionary. And we will copy the word as it is from the Quran. And you will see that this is a fabrication. That the word, the haha, it is the opposite. He stretched it, he made it flat. So you are following a scam. And shame on you even to change the mean of your Quran, you coward. And now who is your daddy? I don't want to be your daddy, to be honest with you. Because obviously you are a scumbag. 
and you don't have a daddy because if you have one you will not be very filthy with your mouth so all Islamic translation nobody says like an egg this is a stupid you know this is a kid by the way he's, he's 19 years old he made a video to refute me and he come with the word saying that the word the ha mean an egg of a shape an egg and then all of them they start copying those stories including Zach and Nag. But as you see, this is the dictionary, and even here it says in, in the in the in the website, in their website, it says Quran. He spread it, he stretched it. And if we go to the interpretation of the Quran, we will find the following. Just to confirm. Stupidity is amazing. But anyway, we are glad that he called us today. You see why I hang up on you, you, you stupid? You are just an idiot. Now what you will say to the people around you, you read carefully. This is a Jalalain. Why a Jalalain? You know, this is one of the highest scars of Islam. And after that, he spread out the earth. He made it flat. So imagine the cowardness of this religion. The word in Arabic, he made it flat. It became a shape of an egg. Do you see how the flat earth became an egg shape? Do you see it? Is this guy working to Christian press? This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan, owned by the King of Jordan himself. Tafsir al-Jalalain, Tafsir Firaz Hamza, the Royal of Ahlul Bayt Institute, Islamic Thought, Amman, Jordan, this is official government. This is owned by the king himself, who he claimed to be descendant from Muhammad, which explained why he's a fraud. So you stupid you today, I gave you a chance to call me because we need some entertainment. And you fail to your trap, you stupid. Let us change the translation. Maybe this one is wrong. Maybe this one is donkey. All of them, they are donkeys anyway. Let's go to Ibn Abbas, the cousin of Muhammad. This is why he don't want to see anyone. He don't want to see any hadith. He don't want to see any translation. You know, and he said to me, "Don't you know? Uh, you know, I have to read translation. I know, etc. Do you know Aramaic? Here we go. This translation. He spread the earth, and after that, he spread the earth. So what the Quran is, is a book made by a donkey, a God who don't remember which one he finished first, the mountains or the stars. He cannot be God. I remember this donkey himself, we asked him clearly, what is the last thing Allah he did? He said the stars. And he starts repeating, in the lowest heaven, okay, not all the heaven, in the lowest heaven, okay, I'm daddy, okay, the lowest heaven. He talked too much, trying to gain some time to think, because he's so slow. Did you guys have fun? So now we challenge Ultimate Fort to download this video and post it as it is in his channel. Let every one of those who watch your channel, I don't know how many kids they watch it, maybe 10. <laughs> See how great you are. <laughs> and guys, it says in the Quran, the shape of an egg. Don't you know the shape of an egg? He starts quoting me. Don't you know the shape of an egg? It says that, it says that. You want to change the topic. I did not let him change the topic because if we change it, he will, he will forget about all the time we spend to read those verses. He made it in the ship of the egg, okay? Here it says, footnote. Let us see the footnote. Uh, it's not moving. I click footnote, it's not moving. Let us see the footnote. We want to laugh just for love. Uh, where is the footnote? Uh, okay, hold on. Hold on. I, I found the footnote. Guys, let me show you the footnote. <laughs> That is hilarious. Footnote, footnote, brother, footnote. Okay, hold on. Let's 
Look at the cowardice. 7930, the Arabic word dahaha is delivered from dahiha, dah, which means egg. That is a false, very false. As you see, we are showing you the translation made by a Muslim for the tafsir. You see, do you think those scholars, they do not know really what the word dahaha mean? They knew. But how come none of them says what this guy is saying? This guy, you know, he was killed by the Muslims because he took verses from the Quran, he added verses to the Quran, he took words from the Quran, he changed the Quran, and he gave it f extremely false translation, interpretation, calculation, everything is a, is a donkey style. And the Muslims, they could not take it. For sure, they are criminals, those who killed him, because if he is a stupid, get him busted, but don't kill the guy. And actually now, as you see, this guy became popular to the point someone like this ultimate fault in Africa, he, he, he follow him. He doesn't accept any other translation, he accepts only this one. So when they killed him, they did not really make it die. They made the lie grow. Literally. But it doesn't work with the Christian prince, you know that. Here we get you busted. So I, I was having my patient with you because I want to show everybody why I hang up on you. Because somebody might be new. You do not know how stupid and how silly you are. So I was holding myself. Okay, and you're insulting me. Okay, no problem. And then we got you. And that's it. When we got you, we dump you. There's no need for you. You are like a diaper which is used. Literally. Uh, <clears throat> and you can go and read all the interpretation and you will see clearly that what he said is getting Islam busted. Just accept his interpretation himself, whatever he said, is enough to prove Islam to be stupid. <clears throat> uh, this is a Nika theory. You see, in the in the Quran, in the real Quran in Arabic, it says, and after that, he made the earth flat not spread it you see the word the haha is like when you are making like bread like pizza let's say you make the dot and then uh you you put you you use this uh, what they call it the one like ladies they use in the kitchen to flat the dot that's exactly what the quran is talking about so allah he used that stick to flatten the earth and he made it flat and this is Ibn Kathir. So, as you see, all Islamic cleric, all Islamic scars, who the Muslims consider them scars, they are agreeing in the mean of this verse. So, where this guy is bringing us the, the shape of an egg, that is an additional fraud of the, the, the fraud of Muslim today. But regardless if it's an egg or not, that will not change anything. A God who don't remember which one he created first, he cannot be God. When we ask him about the earth, it says all that in earth. He said in 2021, he is still creating. <laughs> it says there, all that on earth, all that on earth. And he was saying that to Muhammad in the time of Muhammad. This is not a verse Allah was saying when he was creating. He was telling Muhammad how he created everything. So Abdul, we laugh at you because you are a victim of the stupid Muhammad. And actually, not only that, 
if you go you will see all the Muslims accept that Allah he created the earth before the heaven <clears throat> if you remember the verse we mentioned to you here This is the first one we ask him. It is you who created for you all of that in the earth. Let us see how the Muslims see the verse from their own side. You will see that it's exactly what I said to you. He created everything in the earth. And then he went to the sky and then he started working in the sky and he finished them seven heavens and he made the lamps so the first thing Allah he made it was the earth and he finished everything in the top of the earth and even this Abdul he agree when he spoke about productive productive I said what does that mean he said look a plant trees etc animals you know so exactly you see it and then you will find that even when you read more you will see clearly it says it is he who created that for you that all in the earth and all that you may benefit from and then after creation the earth he turned it and he turned to that he made his heaven his object he leveled them. So it's very clear. I mean, how, how clear we can make it more than this? Uh, but anyway, you know, we are happy that he called us today just for the sake of entertainment. We cannot, we cannot consider this guy you know, we can consider this as a debate because this guy is just, just a stupid idiot. You know, he's mentally ill, obviously. I feel sorry for him. And I was always trying to avoid wasting my time. And actually, I was holding myself patiently, really patient. To speak to a donkey like you is not easy. Because I have to repeat the same question a billion times to get the answer. Uh... Hmm. So, do we have any Abdul additional to uh, son of Zakir Naik? Hmm. Any Abdul? <clears throat> All of you, you can destroy me. I mean, come on, all of you. Here we go, you see? I got what I want. And now, those who want to make the videos, by the way, I mean, the video here is very long. You can, especially when he says something, and then he deny what he said. Put them together. I'm, 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 I'm sure Sheikh Ahmed will do a good job with it. He's very good in editing videos. And the, the, the one who called himself Radio, you know, you don't, we do not need your radio, my friend. You will not talk to me, you can talk to me. But uh, as long as you have a radio, well, I, what I know that the best radio is the radio Muhammad he used to turn on. According to your prophet, his radio station, his favorite station was Quran, which was the sound of a bell. Are you going to put that in your radio? If you remember, ultimate, he said to me, yeah, I don't know Arabic, so what do you want me to do? Do you know Aramaic? Do you know Aramaic? Okay, well, your prophet did not even receive Quran in Arabic. He received a sound of a bell. So how your prophet get his Quran in Arabic? 
And the funny Muhammad himself is the one who said that bill is the instrument of shaitan. Bill, the sound of the bill, is the instrument of the devil. And later the idiot, because he's the same as ultimate thought, he said this, that when Quran come to him sometime, come to him as a sound of a bell. Do you see it? So when Muhammad, he turned his radio station, he hear a bell. And that bell is the sound of the Quran. And this is telling you again how stupid this Muhammad is. Because how you say to the people, angels will not accompany a person who have a bell. Angels, I mean, what kind of religion, the angel of that religion cannot come to you if you have a bell. What the problem? What is exactly what the problem with, with the bell? This is why poor you know, Muslims who work with animals, they cannot use bells with their animals. It's haram. And then we find the stupid Muhammad saying, anhu, which means he, he became delusional. He have leprosy. Lep leprosy? I think so. Is that how they say it right in English? So he hear voices, he hear sound of a bell, and this is how we receive Quran, and he suffer with it. Uh, Eclipse, you idiot or not? My Skype is open. Are you certified idiot? Open your Skype. Open your Skype. Well, my Skype is open. Open your Skype. Open your Skype. Get out of here. I have no time for kids. Open your Skype. So all this time, my Skype was doing what? I was talking to the guy using which application? The sound of a bell? Ah, he called me using the bell program. So he called me like, ta -da -dum, ta -da -dum, and uh, then the program was translated into English. Idiot. Open your Skype. So what we will do in all this time? And now my Skype is still open. Let me close it now because I'm done. It's enough to make one shish kebab, fat one. You think this guy, you think he's a, you know, he's a big deal. I mean, look how stupid he is. Now, how many of you will download the video of Ultimate Fort? Give me one. How many Muslims here, they are proud about Ultimate Fort getting me busted? If you are proud, promise me that you will download the video and you will post it in your channel in YouTube. Challenge if you are a Muslim. Is that fair? I challenge you to be proud. I want you to show every Muslims how you made victory over this guy, Christian Prince, how you got him busted. And at the end, don't forget to tell them, see, he hang up on him. Yeah, because I don't use diapers twice after I change for the boys he's yuck he's an idiot and don't call me again ultimate fart you are a joker go watch yourself and people will die laughing at you especially with your stupidity you made it so clear you are insulting me what's wrong with you you do not know what protective protective and the more he talk the more he do poo poo and i'm having patience like okay he's insulting me you want to call me daddy blah 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 and i said okay daddy 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 cool you are daddy cool now okay tell us more <laughs> So, are we, uh, are, did we have a good time? You know, we don't have too many people because this is not the time, usually I go live. And uh, I will leave this video maybe for a day or two until many of you download it and share it. And uh, have fun with it, okay? And I want to give a chance to Ultimate Fart so he can download the video.
he will share it to his wife. His wife, she will be in love. She will say, honey, you did this. He will say, mm-hmm. Are you sure you did this? This is your voice? He said, I swear by Allah, the one who made the earth in the shape of an egg. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> and then his wife, she will leave him. Idiot. So, uh, I hope we have a good time together. Which wife? This guy, nobody will marry him. I mean, come on, are you kidding me? Oh, yeah. You see, all like uh, the more the economy, I mean, people get opportunity to work, the more men, Muslim men, they get a chance to take over women and marry many women. Before, women, they have no support. They don't know what to do. Their family, they want to get rid of them. You know, mostly they are poor people. They cannot feed them. So, you know, he, they marry them right away and they get, get paid. The parents will get paid. So, but now things are changing. In most countries in the world, most countries, like except in Afghanistan, they are selling their babies, even including the boys. Uh, women, they work now, and there's more freedom, and more women going to have education. And that's mean he cannot control the women, use her like like a, like a sex toy. You know, she will not be his his abused uh, uh, puppy. Actually, in the in the in the Middle East right now, uh, women is the one is abusing men. I mean, if you go and watch YouTube, you see what those women, they speak, how they speak, you will not believe it. Anyway, guys, <clears throat> um, uh, I, I got to go because I want to uh, attend the funeral of the Democratic Party because they have a funeral in Virginia. Uh, <coughs> <laughs> Imagine the, the, uh, the governor of Virginia he got Obama, he got Joe Biden, he got uh, the vice president, he got everybody, he got even rock stars to sing, so people would come and vote. And then they got busted. So yesterday it was really, really, really fun for me. I could not believe it that this is a very, very Joe Biden state. It is turning into conservative. So Democrat. Don't go to the football game. You will hear things you don't like. So I want to say thank you guys for being here. And uh, for some reason, I feel that ultimate thought is a Democrat too. <laughs> so I want to say thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you all. And we pray that the Lord forgive us if we are harsh on people, but because we love them, we don't hate them. We are trying to show them the truth and the truth will set them free. Islam made by a fool for the fools and we prove it every day. Thank you. God bless you and see you soon again. Take care.